Hello everyone, and welcome to Phoenix Gaming. I'm your host, Nick Henning, and today we are returning to World Series of Board Gaming. I've been putting off doing Brass Birmingham for a while. Um, I've got some experience with Brass Lancaster, but I've only played Birmingham one time, and I've, I felt a little daunted by this project. So I actually decided that I would bring in someone who's more of an expert than I am. So I've got my good friend Luca here. Uh, Luca, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to the viewers? Hi, I'm Luca. You will see me in this final because I was one of the finalists. Unfortunately, I didn't make uh, the ring, but I was able to go to the semifinal of Brass and win the semifinal of Brass and then go through the final of WSBG. So I don't know if I am master of this game. I played a lot. I have some good understanding of the strategies and I will try to help you go through this ring final of Brass Birmingham. Yeah, Luca had won the the Azul ring, and that's how he got to the semifinals. And uh, him and his buddy Cliff, who also ended up getting to the finals of the event, both did a literal fist pump when they were pulling the the, the random games and they saw that Brass Birmingham was in there. So um, Luca might be saying that he's not an expert here, but he definitely was pretty excited to see this as uh, as the game of choice. So without further ado, let's uh, let's start rolling the video, and and I'll start off by asking you, Luca, like. What's um? What do you look at in the setup? Does it matter much, like what the, the kind of deliveries are around the ring of the board here? Yes, you need to check uh, where the markets are, because, for example, for the cotton strategy, that's the one that gives you the most amount of points. You like to have the markets close to each other, because you don't want to lose too many action building links through there. Got so. It. What the markets are, are the first thing that I, I personally check before even look at the cards. Got it. And you think specifically for cotton? Specifically for cotton, yes. You need to check if cotton is viable or not. And then you know if you want to go for there, if you're one of the first player, or if you want to go for another strategy. Okay. And so with our setup here, what do you think people are paying attention to? So... If I remember correctly, the setup, uh, Cotton was good, not the perfect uh, setup, but it was good enough to be viable for this game. I remember that the manufacturer goods were on the opposite, north and south. So in order to use both, you should have uh, location cards or you need to decide which side you want to go. Mm, okay. So I... Uh... With them being kind of split out a little bit more, does that mean that sort of more resource-heavy strategies, your irons and your coals, end up being stronger, or how does that how does that work out? Myron is uh, always strong. Coal it depends where the links are because if you want to sell, coal has to be linked to a market. So it depends if you have a link or someone build a link uh, unknowingly just for you. The one that matters most it's the two manufactured good markets being so apart, it means that two players can go for manufactured goods and know that they will not fight each other. Got it. So I want to say I, I'm go north. I hope the other player will go south, for example. And so we'll have one market just for each other without being in a fight. Got so it. this is important. Tempo is important in Brass Birmingham because if you can't build the beer to help you sell, you want to be the first one to use the beer on the market that you want to use before anyone else. Right, right. And um, does it? So I, you know, like I said, I've mostly played Lancaster. Have you played Brass Lancaster much, or do you, or are you mostly on a Brass? Once. <laughs> okay, Just so once. so we're the opposite in experience. <laughs> we're the opposite. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So Lancaster didn't have beer; they had. Um, docks instead and in that game you know essentially someone would make those docks or the ports and then it, it could be a totally separate player from the players who were kind of selling things and that ended up being fine but i've kind of heard that in this one it's really more ideal if you can use your own beer you don't really want other people to use your beer is that is that a true thing it depends on what you want to do so your beer will give you points and income and income gives you money to build other things. So if someone else uses your beer, it's beneficial for you, but in, you need to check how much beneficial is for the other one. Got it. 
Because, for example, if I flip a beer, it gives me five points. But if with my beer, you can flip a cotton that is nine points, then you have four points more than me. So I don't want you to use my beer. Got it. Depends how much help you get from the other player, giving them a beer, how much point they give with flipping your, using your beer or not. So you need, you need to really pay attention when you put a beer on the, on the map. If you're, you'll be the only one to use it or someone else can use it, how much they can have an advantage over you using your own beer. So it's, there's a lot. I think there's a lot more strategy involved than in Lancashire. Got it. Just with just with uh, the beer added to the to the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've heard that. Um, so it looks like we're fired off on our first round here. Jared's in seat one on purple. You're in seat two um, as white. Uh, that's Luca. The third seat is Randy on red or orange or whatever you want to call that. And then the fourth seat we've got Josh uh, on my preferred gaming color of yellow. And it looks like we had three people take loans in this first turn and it's you a, developed it's, <laughs> yeah it's a standard uh, is a standard uh, start you want to get a loan or you want to develop if you develop uh, you show the other player what you are doing so for example if you think you can go for cotton probably the best thing to do is in the first turn to develop to cotton so the other player will know hey i'm doing cotton so don't do cotton because in Brass Birmingham, if two players go for cotton, they will probably both lose. There's not enough market and not enough resource to have two players going for cotton. Mm. So if you don't want to develop, you want to stay neutral, then you want to take a loan because uh, you will not pay any money and having just one action in the first turn, you will be one of the first player to go again. Yeah. And so... alone is 30, 30 pounds, 30 money. So a lot of money for let you start uh, to build your, your engine, your action and give, put something on the board. Yeah, it's a Martin Wallace game. He loves those loans. Um, even in Lancashire, taking loans early was really a common a common aspect of the game for sure. They they clearly kept that uh, they kept that sentiment alive. I called it a Martin Wallace game, but actually Birmingham I think is not designed by Wallace, right? It's kind of it's like a spiritual successor designed by other folks, if I'm correct. I, no, I uh, no someone will put me on a stake, but I think uh, <laughs> I don't remember, but I think it's Martin Wallace that, that he did designed. Okay as well yes maybe with some help uh, now mm. i don't remember i'm <laughs> i'm not into designer so i like the game but who designed it i really don't, <laughs> don't care i love the game and that's it yeah yeah that makes sense um cool so we see in the second round here uh, jared is rocking a a link and uh, an iron, which immediately flips because there's enough space yes. there. Um, is this is this an appropriate time to play iron? Yes. So yeah. if you are the first player, if you are the first player and you have the meaning to build uh, an iron, then on the first turn, if you don't want to go cotton, and the first turn you loan, so you don't spend any money, you will be first the next turn, mm -hmm. and then you do a link and iron. And you will flip because someone will probably develop and not all the four players should take a loan. So there will be four, at least four free spaces on the market. You will sell your iron, you will flip your iron mine, and that will offset your loan and give you some money. Gotcha. And just to be it's clear, the, 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 link is, the link is so you can buy the coal, right? That's to build it? Is that the idea? Yes, because yeah. every level of the iron mine will re require coal. So you need to have a coal source. So there's none right now on the map. So you need to be connected to the market. Right, right. OK, and cool. Interesting enough, he built on Birmingham. Mm. So I don't know which card he has in hands, but build on Birmingham with the market that you can see it's completely um, empty, doesn't want anything. It's a meaning to not let other player use your link. 
got it. He's trying to just kind of sandbag a little so, bit. Yes, my my impression is you want to get the um, to get paid the loan paid, but he doesn't want other people to use his connection to a market. So he's using an empty market. Totally. And then Randy here, it looks like he pretty much snaps off those iron and develops beer and crates. Um, he does like a double develop. This seems nice for him. And to me, I think kind of the, the default as well, following up uh, all that iron going there, you're going to want to hop on um, and get that. You were talking about how in the first round you kind of like signaled, right? Like you opened up beer, Randy's opened up beer. Is this competitive really? Or is it like, yeah, folks are going to build beer. So that's, this no, isn't... I've... Everyone but the cotton player wants to build the beer. Got it. Because beer is always better than the the bonus that you get from the market. Even the the market gives you four points. If you develop the beer and you get level two beer, it will be five points the beer in the canal era and five points more in the rail era, because if you put a level two or more in the on the map and you flip it it will stay for the rail area so it will score twice right so all level two beer or up are always better than just use the market yeah obviously there are not so many spots for beer so if you can't build a, a beer then you have to use the market yeah but my suggestion would be if you can use an action just put beer you know that you will be the only one to use it just to build beer does it it's more make, convenient for you does it make sense to ever build level one beers or is it kind of like you you got to develop away those those babies because they're going to go away in the end of the canal era so the only the only time that i use a level one beer is when i do cotton Okay. Because when you do cotton, and you will see because I will do cotton <laughs> <laughs> in this game, when you do cotton, you're very short on action. Right. You're already short on action in the, in the canal era, but with cotton, you have to develop all the level one and all the level two. So those are three action for developing. So you're, and then you need to link to a coal mm -hmm. resource because the level three um cotton requires a call so you're taking out action to action to action so you don't want to use another action to develop beer got it so okay. that's the only one one time then i use a level one beer if i can't use for example the wild market to sell my cotton got it okay and so it looks like josh here is basically just doing exactly what jared did he's refilling the iron market and actually hopping off of his link over there um, so it's gonna, it's probably gonna then be you going and developing. So we've got like make iron, spend iron, make iron, spend iron. It's kind of the flow for this yes. round, huh? If you yes, if you can, and if you have a loan to pay, when there are four available spots on the iron market, if you can, it's beneficial for you to build um, an iron mine. Got it. Yeah. Because you will sell all the iron, so you'll get money. Right. And the the income that you'll get flipping the Iron mine will offset your loan. Yep. And by offset the loan, you mean like you're at that seven points now, which is like pay three every turn or whatever. And now pay you're three back every to turn, the, yes. the zero. Yeah. Okay. And then, yes, because level one uh, cotton will give you three income. So you will go up three steps. So from minus three, you will go up back to zero. So you don't have to pay anything else. Nice. Nice. And then we see you here developing those cotton kind of at the beginning. Yes. I don't remember my card, so I... I think I wait for the second turn to see if someone else started before me, probably because I didn't have the best cards for going cotton. So I want to see if someone else wanted to go before me. Then everyone else did the loan or put some iron. So I say, okay, I'm fine. I should have some good cards. So I went to cotton and say, hey, I'm developing. And with the cotton being so cheap, I developed twice. Got it. Yeah. So you've developed three times so far this game. You're just you're the one who's who's developed everything, which is nice because you're not at negative income, but you must be very low on cash flow right now, right? Yes, I should have just three money. So you've spent something less. So I will like have to I will have to loan. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah, got it. Cool. So this, uh, to me, this seems like a, a sort of standard opening at this level of play, right? Like building iron, developing stuff, taking loans. That's kind of like what people are doing, setting up their, their structure at the beginning. Is there anything here that, that strikes you as kind of unique or surprised you or any any thoughts about Randy opening crates or barrels? No. Does that say anything to you either? Do you open crates? It means that he doesn't have good cards for cotton. So Got crates it. is better is better crate at least level two crate is really good because it requires only iron mm. so you can build whatever you want because iron doesn't require connection got it okay and instead so the cotton yes cotton instead requires coal so you need to have a connection to a coal mine on the board or a coal market so that's uh, limit your option when you want to go cotton yeah is there kind of like a first mover advantage into going into cotton? Like you've now signaled, hey, I'm in cotton. And you said that two people going into cotton is usually death for both those players. So does that mean yes. that no one else is going to step on cotton at this stage? No one should. No one that knows how to play. <laughs> shouldn't go, it shouldn't go cotton. You need to try to stop cotton. So don't give him beer, for example. Mm -hmm. Try to close a spot double spot, for example, that require cotton and someone, something else. Mm -hmm. You need to try to, to slow it down, but you can't try to go to cotton to just fight for cotton. We will, both player will for sure lose. Got it. So the way to slow a cotton player down is just making it hard for them to get their beer. Like you said, it's a lot of work to run cotton. So make it so that they have to do all that work themselves. Uh, yes. And then and then they're going to struggle to kind of keep up with other players. Um, we see Randy here kind of following suit with the other players and opening that link and, and playing out an iron here. Um, does every single player usually wind up playing iron or is there a chance that you're just not playing any iron things this game? Yeah. Um, it depends. It obviously depends on your first on the cards. So if you don't have any uh, location or iron card, you can't play iron, obviously. Sure. But if you're a cotton player, you don't play iron because that will be, even if it gives you money and it can offset one of your loan, it's one more action that you're not using for your cotton strategy. Got it. So cotton player is always uh, just the he has to go cotton and nothing else. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Most of the time. I'm trying to, like in this game, I'm trying to go over. So I, I develop first my two beers because I want to put the beers and have more money. More money and more points, even going even if cotton gives you the most amount of points. So but still there's I will be, and we'll see, I will be low on uh, on action. So I will not be able to build all my three level three cotton and sell them because I will be low on action. Got it. So then we see you here, you're developing away the last level two cotton, not even disrespecting level two. We're going straight to level three and four for yeah, maximum power. Yeah, you have to go power. straight to level three, yes. Okay, the level two is just not worth it, really? Like, level one and level two, no, they're not worth it. Got it. The so level one obviously goes level... away. Uh, yeah. But the level two is just, it doesn't have enough, like, oomph, essentially, no, not enough points. No, no. I see. It's much, much better. In, it's just five points, while the level three is nine points. Okay. So yeah. you'll get four points more in the canal era and four points more in the rail era. Right. The fact that it doubles up makes a huge difference. Doubles up, yes. Right. makes a huge, very huge difference. And then you also developed away your level one iron here, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, that was what that was one mistake. Why is that a mistake? I thought because uh, for the rail era and for the cotton, it's much better to develop coal because you will need coal for your cotton. Mm. And for if you want to build rail. So I, d I really don't remember why I built iron. Probably after three games of brass Birmingham, <laughs> I was really tired. So I say, okay, I need to develop because I want to have some level two to put on. Yeah. But no, level level two, uh, level one iron, developing level one iron was clearly a mistake. Got it. Okay. So he should have should have gone coal instead. Should I mean, have gone coal. Yes. It's interesting. I do I do understand the logic, right? Because you can get, um, I think it's still true in Birmingham, where you can get locked out, right? Where if you have not built a level one something, 
and then you go to the the railroad era it's like tough you can't even build it at all you have you have to develop away those lowest level things if you're trying to build for certain resources later on right Yes, it's true for Brass Birmingham as well. Yeah. All the level ones, but pottery, you cannot build them in the real era. Yeah. So if you want to build a level two or more, or you build a level one in the canal era, but I will not suggest that, you simply develop the building that you want to use. Got it. And then um, you ended up building a link here, which is pretty interesting to me because you're most people I've seen link and then immediately build something. So you've got a link here that connects to to Randy's kind of open link on the side of the board there. What's I imagine that you're planning on playing a cotton down in whatever that. I'm playing cotton, and now I don't remember the name of the two things. Uh, I think Kidderminster and then Worcester uh-huh. are the two are the two very good place for cotton because they only want cotton and one coal mine in Kidderminster. So Randy, the red player, helped me because he built a link on the wild market. So I just connect mm. the two. one right now, one place is, but everyone should know that I will build another link to connect both Kidderminster and Worcester to the wild market so I can sell. Got it. Got it. That and on sense. the south, there's a market that requires cotton as well. Mm-hmm. Cool. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. To the south. So I see that connection, that arc where it's like there's the wild and there's the cotton there. It's two places to yeah. deliver to. So that's a nice little link for you. Cool. Yeah, it's not the best uh, uh, setup for cotton, but it's good enough to be viable to use because there are two markets that are close, close enough to be used. Mm-hmm. My my play style is not going over three, if possible, not going over three links in the canal era, because Just, links will go away. Right. So what what do you want to do? It's build and have a presence for the next era, for the rail era. Yeah, it's funny so how trying... it's funny how people don't like doing the links in the canal era. But the railroads are so valued in the um, the rail era. I mean, I, I, I it's just they're just more points, right? Because there's just more stuff built yes. on the board. Is the logic, yes. I guess. In the canal, there's not not enough stuff for you to build so many links. You want just the right amount for you to sell to connect everything that you want to sell and mm-hmm. to sell. Yeah. So for me, the best number is three. I'm trying not to go over three links. They'll give you some points that are always good. There are not so many actions that you are, let's say, wasting on links that they will go away. And obviously, yes, in the rail era, rail are more important because you can use one action to build a two rail if you can. So you're doubling up in one action. And there are more building already flipped over there that can give you more, more points. Got it. Great. Yeah. And then it looks like uh, Jared on his turn did some developing, although I didn't, I think maybe he developed away his base beer and then he built a level two beer in Utoxeter. Is that, is that? That, uh, It depends. Some people don't like people that build in Utoxeter. Utoxeter is not connected because you, you see there's only a rail connection between Utoxeter and Derby and Stone. Mm-hmm. So in the canal era, that beer will not be connected. So he can only use it. So you put in Utoxeter in the canal era because you know that you will be the only one that can use it. No one else can use it. But you can't. Can you flip it? Oh, right, because you can teleport you can it, your yes, own beers. You are, you are, yes, you can. Te- yes. The owner doesn't need to be connected right. to his own beer. Right, right, right. That's... So you know that that beer is yours and yours alone. Got it. So it's, like a, de- it's a defensive say, beer. <laughs> yeah. Some people say you should put a lot of, a lot, some extra beer for other people to, to flip it for you mm-hmm. instead you flip it. I disagree, but it's one strategy that someone can use. Got it. If you're going beer, link, uh, iron, the coal is the bleak uh, strategy. It is one of the strategy. You want to build a lot of beers in the canal for order to flip and in the rail era to do double rail or quad rail. So you want to put the beer where people can use it 
and you talk so there just you can use it my uh, play style is i will put in a toxeter so just me it's just for me i'm not i'm not the kind of guy who you're not help. for sharing <laughs> yeah no i'm not for sharing that's funny um especially in this game i think we being everyone entrepreneur you don't want to share you want to be the only one be able to to do stuff do yeah. things um and then did josh build did he build two iron mines yes you over if i remember correctly you overbuild one and or then you build another one Got yes it. you overbuild overbuilding the iron one is always good oh just because it, he's so yes it it's, costs him the the couple points or whatever yes but he will stay so you will double level one iron is good to offset your first loan but then it will not stay so it will there will be no presence there for you so you want to overbuild your level one iron and then he build another one and that's is still good because we are on turn three or so he knows that those iron will be used yeah doesn't this just seem very good for you and randy though who get to go first and second and like employ all this very cheap iron yes i think he put there just for someone to use it didn't care who was using it just using to flip it to get some income and more points yeah i don't think he put it there just for him to use it i see okay okay but he knows that they will be used if no one use it just for not helping him he can still develop yeah he, he can use it himself right? yes easily easily very easily so we're not even uh, half in the game we should be in the turn three or four so there will be plenty of time for him to use it yeah the iron if no one else uses it but i can assure you someone will use it Got for example it. red now is building two level two um, manufacturer goods that yep. require iron so oh yeah so he uh he great he's building these two in the he's, south yes, there already... is he going to be able to sell those though because that that that's an empty market you were saying there yes he will he will need to yield a lot of link i see so for to, to, to sell on the southern he will need to build at least two link and then a beer if I he see. wants to go the wild market he needs to build three link or maybe pray that someone helps him build some link for him so is that primarily in reaction to the cards in his hand or like or do you think that it's he's taking advantage of the fact that there's already links uh kind of over in the area where he built level two manufactured good requires only iron so it doesn't require any connection mm -hmm. so i think he had those cards in hands and nothing else were to be i see i see that makes sense um, and then and Josh Josh built an iron in Colebrookdale, so maybe he's thinking that he will build a link already mm -hmm. that he can use, not the, have to build three links if he wants to go for the wild market. Yeah, that makes sense. And then to, we actually skipped over your turn because it was just so fast. You built a link and and did a that alone, right? You that's just... another mistake. Oh, okay. Why was that a mistake? Because there were there were um, I free iron. I should have at least built one level three cotton with a free iron. Ah, uh, so instead, instead of you... no one will go there. I'm right right now in retrospective. No one will go there with a link. So, but I think I was already tired and I wanted to having developed two level the level one beers i wanted to have a spot just for me to put a beer there yep so i put the link there so i have the two um places for cotton and, and the beer the brewery just for me yes but if you had done it correctly you would have taken a loan then paid for the cotton mill and then next turn built the canal yes next turn build the canal yes i see i see yeah, because it doesn't. Because when yeah, when I started to build the 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 coal, then the cotton, the iron was a four a piece. Yeah, <laughs> so I spent a four and four money, especially in the canal era, are a lot of money. It adds up. Yeah, exactly. Um, so then we see uh, 
Jared here moving into into boxes or manufactured goods. Is it is that normal that two players are going to be playing manufactured goods? Yes, can be, there can be three player, but that's uh, again like three player is like cotton. Three players mean going on manufactured good. They are fighting too much mm -hmm. between each other. But here, like I said, there's one market on the south for manufactured good and one on the top. Mm. He already saw that the red is going for the south. So he's going north. So he said, yes, go. I'm going to Stone and probably Stock on Trent as well. And the, the north market is just for me. So Got they're it. not fighting each other. They have one market each, and then there will be the wild market for someone. Who knows? Yep. So that's a, that splitting, that manufacturer good market of splitting help both player because they will not fight got it yeah okay so now we've got randy's kind of doing manufactured goods um jared's doing manufactured goods the two of them actually kind of have the same strategy so far right which is a little bit of beer a little bit of iron a little bit of manufactured goods you're going very heavy cotton josh has gone into yeah. iron um, but iron at a certain point stops right like what what options does he have seeing the the three of you kind of having established your more um your processed goods right your your mill and the two manufacturers what what can he do at this stage he can develop the beer mm -hmm. and go for beer so he can go for the, the, the what is called bleak so beer link iron and coal so he will build some beer he will probably build some coal for the market now that coal has been used and then it will build in the rail era beer to double rail or quad rail. So he, he still has option. Got it. So he's really he, basically he didn't, he didn't develop anything right now. So he still right. has option. <laughs> so he's so he can go wherever he wants. Yeah. So he's going to be doing like support and then those link points. And I've actually heard yeah. that that's one of the kind of most pervasive, powerful approaches. Going for links in the rail era, going for double rail, if there are spots that are good, it gives you the, a lot of points, especially mm. in one I call the, the beer triangle. Okay, where's in, the beer triangle? In the north is a Derby, uh -huh. Toxeter, Stone, and Borton and Trent. They all have at least one beer location. I see. And every single level of beer gives you two link points. So just one beer in one location, one beer in the other. If you can put a link between them, it will be four points, easily four points, probably more. And the average score that you want to have, it's five points per action. So with the 31, yes, it's 30, with 31 action, you want to be between 155 and 160 average. Got it. Okay. So with one rail gives you at least four points, but there will be for sure more that, that <laughs> what I call it beer triangle is one of the best places where you want to put your rail. I see. And did Josh just build a level one coal or did he? Yeah, that's a, no, he did build level one coal. So I don't know why. Okay. He was he was already on le, uh, three income. So, he sh in my opinion, he should have a loan to go from three to zero, uh -huh. get 30, 30 money, and then develop the coal and something else. Next turn, put a level two coal that it will stay. And it will sell because there, there was enough um, space in the, mar in the coal market for a level two to be flipped uh, right away. So I don't know why he built a level one call instead of taking a loan maybe and developing and then next turn putting a level two mm -hmm. call there. So probably he was tired as well. So Sure, yeah. Um, maybe he's also worried that someone's going to like grab that link before him or something. I'm not sure. Oh, well, if he develops, there's... I then he goes he goes early right he's going second now yeah. and there's no way you're going yeah. over there because you've got no, you've got yeah. your whole plan <laughs> no yes i don't know the card that he has in hand so if he didn't have the i think that is wolverhampton wolverhampton card but he has just the coal 
uh, industry card that he needed uh, to be in his network. Mm -hmm. Maybe it. he was worried that someone read, just read, build um, a link there and then cut him off. I see. And B, I don't, I don't know his card, so. Yeah, but right. Just build, yeah, just be the level one in a vacuum is a bad move in the canal era. Yeah, I, I've seen, at least in Lancashire, building the one was like often what you would do to offset a loan, as you were saying, but because he already had that positive income, it doesn't it doesn't quite serve the same thing. Although he is the only player who's kind of still at positive income here, which is probably a nice little benefit that he's getting throughout the canal era here. Um, obviously, taking loans is just a huge, huge chunk of change, but how how big of a deal is it that he's getting three, four, five dollars a turn compared to all the rest of you who are either paying or getting zero? It uh, depends on how many turns it will stay at five. But if you think that a loan gives you 30 money, having an income of five will, means that in six turns you will get 30 money. Mm. So it's always, if you need the money, it's always best to get a loan. Right. Even right. if it's an action, because remember, loan is an action and you are, everyone is tied on action. But if you really need the money, you, you should take a loan. I saw a lot of people being crazy for income and going 15, 17 income. But you win the game with victory point. You don't win the game with income. Yeah, there's something so about income, that. Yeah. So income is good. There's no denying that because it gives you a steady flow of money. Mm -hmm. But it's, it will, it's not enough for everything that you need to do. Yeah. Yeah, that makes don't sense. Don't be too focused on income. Try to stay, obviously, not on the negative. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> too much. You will stay on the negative because you will need loan sooner or later in the canal era, so you will be in the negative. Don't stay in the negative too much, but don't go overly positive. Right. And, that's, and by taking... That's my strategy. No, it makes sense. And by taking those loans early the um that negative income is easier to offset right there's less space yeah. there's f fewer spaces less that you need to move which is kind of a really yeah. significant component there um so then we see you at the beginning of this turn you throw down both your beers that no one else can use you know you're planning on having these two beers i Toxeter, assume to there no one can use the other one uh, red and yellow can use oh because it is actually connected to the network yeah it's exactly connected but i was thinking i think i was thinking if someone use the wild, someone use the wild market, then I have another beer for mm. me to sell. Yep. My captain, or someone can use my connected beer and offset the my loan for me. Mm -hmm. it will still be money, and it will still be the the same amount of points if they want to use it to flip the manufactured good, because both level two beer and level two manufactured good give five points. So we will be at the same level in points. So I don't care if I flip that beer or someone else that you going um, for manufactured good is flipping for me. Sure. Yeah. And then I think we see maybe why Josh was so eager to extend his network out, worried that someone maybe would take it. Like maybe his cards are just kind of forcing him to go into the middle here as he kind of like continues to build out. Right. He built that level one manufacturing. Yeah. But then he level, yes. Then he level another build to one so in the if those both get flipped and if we go to the rail era those two level one will go out so right. they will have a presence there yes. so if but again it depends on the cards that he has in hand so right. if he doesn't have the location he needs to have um be in his network Right. He's kind of the least focused on infrastructure right now and kind of more just focused on getting his like immediate benefits. And then I think I think I, I can't quite see how much money was spent. But my my assumption with you buying two beers and him doing a link in a manufactured good is that he is going to go before you next turn and be able to sell to that wild market. Do, do I have that correct? Well, it, he should have spent less than me. But yeah. then we will see that red will go if i'm mistaken it will go loan and canal loan and link so we'll spend only three to be the first one and then he will sell oh <laughs> oh so, yeah it's always yes for especially for the wild market it's always a race yeah yeah how so important you want 
is it uh so you're gonna build two cotton mills how important is it that you you know race for the the wild market bonus right being the first one to sell there versus um being more action efficient and selling both at the same time for me i i don't remember my thought process but i thought that the wild market was already gone I see you. You that's committed probably it is why away. I put yes. <laughs> that's, uh, that's why I probably put two beer there. Yeah, to um, let people use my beer and maybe let the wild market beer alone, or having one more beer. So if someone used the wild market, I still have one more beer to sell. I think in that moment I was still trying to put a three level three cotton Ooh, there. You were going for a greedy. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I was probably too greedy. Is that there's co- a cotton? There's a cotton market on the south, so I would be able to sell at least to cotton. I see. I see. For the third, I will need the wild market or two beer. Got it. Got it. So it didn't go as well as I was planning, probably. But sure. So if on your turn, instead of building two beer, you had like played a cotton and then immediately sold it to the wild market would that be is that a is that a valuable way to spend your actions um or is it just too inefficient it's one for one when one action on selection you can sell as many things that you want right. as long as you can pay for them the beer so just putting one things out and selling right away is not the best especially in the canal era yeah but if you think that you can use the wild market, especially for cotton, you put a cotton, you sell the cotton with the wild market, and then you think that you can put two more cottons and sell them, then yes, do it. But uh, I, I think in that time I knew that I was able only to put two cotton down. I probably didn't have the, the location to put a third cotton. Probably a count that he didn't have the money. Put three cotton, take the loan, and then so, so I just put the beer to get more money. Because yeah. two beers will give me we will give me ten points. One cotton will give me nine points. So we're still in that range. Got it. Okay. Cool. So then it looks like Jared did an overbuild of his iron as well, kind of kind of mirroring. It was a level one, yes. Yep. And then I didn't see what his one. second action was. Maybe alone? Maybe alone. Oh, yeah, because he's down. He's down to minus three income right now. So I think he... Okay, oh, yeah, you took alone, yes. Yeah. In the canal era, you took... Yeah. Depends what are you uh, playing. So if you're playing cotton, you take between two and three longs maybe four if you are in the bleak uh, or in the manufactured good uh, probably two are enough if you can offset the first right away with iron or you can use coal to offset your loan two should be enough for you the whole strategy in the canal era cotton has to go at least three yeah if he's if if he's not lucky enough that uh, everyone else will be links for him uh, let him have more action probably three loan is the minimum mm-hmm. it's a lot of money level three level three cotton is a lot of money so <laughs> i have here the map is uh yes it's 16 one coal and one iron so yeah even with a loan you can you cannot build two but you need at least two loan to build the three so <laughs> Plus all the develop and other things. So yes, three is probably the minimum amount of loan that you have to take as a cotton player. Yep, got it. And then so we see Randy doing exactly what you said here. He built that link and took that loan, kind of trying to, um, I guess, to connect these manufactured goods over to the wild market there on the West. Yes. Um, and how... be the first one right to sell there how much do you think this was part of his game plan versus like it's the opportunity because josh started building inland and randy's like well you know maybe this wasn't the plan but i'll take advantage of it like where how much is this like tactics versus strategy do you find when you're playing i think it was uh it was frightening 
by the manufacturer good that Josh put out. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to use, because he has two manufacturer good to sell. So one, he can sell it to my beer, but the second has to be with the wild market beer. Mm -hmm. He probably, he didn't want to probably, he wanted to, to wait, but with uh, another manufacturer good on the board, he didn't have the time to wait. So he said, practically he said, I have to do it right now. Got it. Or not, I don't have enough beer to sell both of my goods. Yep. Yep. So he he wants to get in while the getting's good. Um yeah. he can he can sell both of these boxes to the wild market. Is that how that works? Yes. So you can sell he, he needs just to have two beers. So one you can use the one from the market and that's it. And the second one is obviously mine because it's the only one connected and on, on the map. Yep. Yep, that makes sense. And so now Josh is in a position where he has this manufactured good, this level one manufactured good, and he doesn't essentially have anywhere to sell it. Although when you, because you're probably going to end up connecting to the South, right? So that you can. But he doesn't know when. He doesn't know when, right? So he's. he's... My, when I play, and a lot of players do that, if you are the only one that knows that can put a link to a market, you do it like an, on your last turn. Mm -hmm. Do link and then you sell. So yep. you'll be the only one, depending on the turn order, you'll be the only one to be able to use the market. Right. So if he could guarantee so he, he goes after you, that's fine. But that's unlikely because you're building cotton mills. So, yes. Got it. So yeah. he, he has a little bit of a problem, but he still can develop his beer and he should have... Uh, at least one location for beer. I don't think it's, it will be so unlucky to not have at least one location for beer or one beer um, industry card. Yeah. Yeah. So th one thing with, with folks developing and not building level one things is these beers end up sticking around or the, the beer tiles end up sticking around and they kind of jam up the board a little bit. And the one time I played, yeah. I felt like the, the real estate problem with beers was very real like folks wanted to keep building beers so we could get more beers to to ship and we just ran out of space is that is that a common problem that people need to be worried about that's a if, that's an issue yes because if everyone wants to go to beer and in this game i think everyone went on beer then there's not enough space for everyone yeah. that and that helps a lot the cotton player because uh, being the only because being the only one that goes with cotton in the rail era you'll have two market that no one can use because uh, they only require cotton so you'll have two beer for you that no one else can use got it got it and there will be less beer for people to double rail yeah so they will can't they will can't catch up with the with the cotton player using one action to do two rails. Interesting. I hadn't really thought about yeah. that side of it. That makes a lot of sense. So then there's also this like pottery that's up there. And do you think, mm -hmm. is no one building pottery? Is this just like too too much work to even take advantage of that free beer up there? My play style is I build pottery in the rail era because it's the only level one that you can build in the rail era. Okay. So it's one less action that you're using the canal. And remember, in the canal, you have only 15 action in four player because in the first turn, you only have one action. So you want to minimize the thing that you need to do. So you don't need really go for with the level one cotton in the canal era because you can do it later in the royal era. Okay. okay. Cotton is good. The level one cotton is good because it gives you a whooping 10 points. And points with one building is a lot, yeah. especially a level one building. Yeah, got it. Cool. Um, I'm going to go for a quick pause right now, Luca. So let me pause the video and pause the. OK, so uh, we are in the in the middle of turn six right now. I think it's Josh's turn. It looks like should be Josh's turn. Yes. Yeah, because um, Jared built another built another sort of 
hidden beer here. So does that mean that he's going to be building another manufactured good before? Oh, he already built a. He built another for the Nistock on Trent, obviously. Got it. So the thing is, he's going. He's going north, and instead of uh, Brian, well, red player, (laughs) build on uh, on with the world market, but he was going obviously in south. So he is the only one right now, and he will be the only one. He knows that that you will use the market on the north yeah. so he can build another beer that will not use the beer from the market because it's, like i said it's always better build if you can build a beer and flip the beer yep. to sell your, your goods so a new Neaton is another space in the canal era that it's really hard to get <laughs> yeah so it, he knows that those two beers are for him and for him is just for him. Yeah. Yes. And so he's got he's got pretty restricted actions left, right? He's got four actions left and he has to build two links, right, to connect both of those links and then and sell, yes. And so then a sell. The four so action is it's good. I don't know the fourth action, what could be probably I don't loan. Know. <laughs> loan. Yeah, I can do a loan, yes. He can sell and do a loan. And then with everything at zero, it should be the first in mm-hmm. the real era. Unless someone else does the same. Yep. Okay, and so then we see Josh yeah, here. Josh is over, yes, Josh is overbuilding. So that's why he scouted and overbuilt. Yep. So what's so so the scout I, is, is he just can't do anything really with his cards. He's kind of forced to take probably this Probably no. So he wanted to, he wanted to have more option. Mm-hmm. I think still taking a loan in level, in turn three or four, Taking alone and, and developing and then build right away a level two call would have getting in one more action because uh-huh. he had to scout rather right now, than so, overbuilding himself. Rather than overbuilding himself. So mm-hmm. yes. I still don't know the card that he has in hand, but in a vacuum it would have been better for him to take a loan, stay in a zero income so he doesn't have to pay anything. Yeah. Developing and then build a level two. Got it. I've seen a lot more, my experience or my memory of playing Lancashire is that overbuilding yourself was not a common thing. I mean, you would do it every once in a while, but mostly I've seen a lot more overbuilding in this game than I remember seeing in the time that I played Brush Lancashire, which is kind of an interesting dynamic. The overbuild is good, especially with the level one. Right. Because you want your building to stay for the real era. Yeah, exactly. Because but then they, they your... double your points. Uh, okay, so we are back. If you were watching this video right now, I had some kind of weird crash thing, so I had to change my my video stuff. But Luca and I are here at the end of turn six, heading into turn seven. I think we should be good to go. So hopefully, hopefully my computer doesn't Let's putter see. out on me. Yeah. <laughs> um, great. So we're going into turn. Seven. seven. Should be seven, seven. Great. So Randy has flipped his things. So he he doesn't really have any particular goals left for the rest of the canal era, right? Like what is? Uh, no, yes. It, I don't. It, I remember that now he will build two beers. So that's a little bit weird. Gotcha. Build the beer right now because he doesn't have anything to flip. And if I remember, he will build uh, really far away from other people. Mm-hmm. With the idea that maybe he, he uh, can then use it in the canal era or yeah. in the rail era. Yes, you can build. Uh, it's it's fine. Uh, for some people, it's fine. For some not. To build uh, um, one beer and leave it for the rail era. If you think that you can be one of the, f- the first, uh, so you can straight away double rail mm-hmm. using the beer that you left. Uh, but you're giving up five points because your beer will not flip in the canal era. Mm-hmm. So you need to think of a lot. That one is good. It, it probably is thinking that I will build uh, two more cotton and I will use one of his beer. Mm. So he's trying to play nice with you. Yeah. He's trying to get more points. Totally, yeah, of course. I mean, that's yes. one of the things that I think is yes. very clever about brass is yes. playing nice with one player puts you ahead of the other players, right? Other like you, player, yes. That's that's kind of the but, dynamic. 
but again, not knowing his cards, it would probably have been better way if he had the card to build a beer, why not wait to sell? I see. Sure, sure. Because he built two beer right now, so he can build one beer and take a loan and be the the first again, or with the two beer can sell the two manufacturer goods and having more points. Yeah. Oh wait, but actually, maybe he got doesn't Josh need to flip his manufactured good? Can't he just flip yes. it? So the beer probably is He can used... use the beer, yes. He can use the beer totally. But again, why be in such in a hurry to sell if you had the car to build beer? Maybe he didn't. Maybe he drew the, the two cards or at least one card for the beer later. So after selling. So I don't know. The vacuum would have been better to, to probably to build the, the beer before and then selling i see okay okay because he's not sure he's not sure that someone will will use his beer he's right. putting there for everyone to use it but we're not it's not mandatory for us to use his beer so he's spending money for something that he's not sure well there's a little perk for selling first right it looks like maybe four victory points i think for yes it's four victory points in the world market but again one beer Flipped, it's is five points in the it's five points in the canal and five points in the rail. Yeah, so it's okay. ten points. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. So unless you, unless you are really, really rushed to sell because you don't have anything else. So maybe it's sold because he didn't have the cards to build beer uh -huh. before. That's the only explanation that I have on building two beers right now when he already sold everything and the, and it's mostly done for the canal era maybe he was thinking at some point earlier that he was going to build like three manufactured goods but then because josh the, put one in play maybe that made it harder manufactured goods are really weird the third manufacturer good doesn't require a beer oh <laughs> you sell it for free okay that it's, that it's good it in, in a kind of manner it doesn't require a beer and doesn't have link so you put it where other people have their links so you're denying them links you I can see. set it for free. Huh. But That's fun. right now it does it really doesn't need beer. Right. It really doesn't need to build the beer. Okay. And then speaking yeah. of beer, Josh says, Hey, I want to get in on this beer game. I've got my Obviously. own beer. Mm -hmm. He probably has a location for beer, so you, it's better for him to use his own beer yep. instead of using the red player. That's expensive no. for him. Yeah. I mean, he's spending spending money for all that iron. I think that's probably. Uh, I'm sure Randy's disappointed to see that he's he's going into the beer path right now. He's putting on button on trend. Yeah. Yeah. So he's using his own beer. So right it's now, the only player that can use the red beer is me. Right. Yes. Yes. So yeah. No. And you've got uh, one, two. I see. Yep. So you could actually go for three cotton mills, I guess. Right now, uh, I don't remember. I, mean, I think I have 15. I don't think I have enough uh, action because with 15, I take a loan, but I can't uh, because iron is really, is at four. Quite one, expensive. Two, yeah, it's at yep. four, so it's very expensive. That's why I should have in turn four build an iron instead of the, the link. Yep. That probably would have let me if I had the card. Now I don't remember all the cards, obviously. But if I had the cards, building on level four, my first level three cotton would have me let build the other two, and then I would use obviously red beer to flip all three. Yep, that makes sense. And then Jared did kind of what we suspected. He built a link and took a loan. So, um, is there the any next turn is ready? Is there any advantage for him having instead built both of his links this turn and then do loan um, loan sell next turn so that he has zero and gets to go first in the rail era? I don't know if he counted the card, but there's still one spot for manufactured goods in um, Stock on Trent. Oh, I see. So he's if he built two links, so someone would have been able to build. Uh, a manufacturer good and sell before him. He still has two beers, so it is not really a big problem for him. Got it. Yep. So it's probably doesn't want doesn't want to help anyone. Not helping anyone, but yeah, yes. I, I don't know if 
if spending three or zero makes any difference in the last turn. I guess we'll we'll have to see. But we'll it, it is yes, usually I pretty good remember. to go first, right? In, in the real yes. era, that's yes, a good thing. Yes, in the thing. real era, yes. Yeah. And then you, I think, just yeah, you did a loan and, and built your cotton mill, of course, yeah. Yeah, that was a fast round because I think everyone kind of knew. You get to that point where you know exactly yeah, what it is. Yeah, the, the to last two rounds, you should you should already know <laughs> yeah. what you want to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Great. Okay, so, so then go going into the last round here, you are last again. So you are going to build a link and sell. Yes. And purple will build a link and sell as well. Purple will build a link and sell. Yellow is selling and something else. Something, yes. And then red is, oh, we have no idea what Randy is doing. No. <laughs> Figuring no. out a right way to... Now I, have, I don't remember. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. Finding some so way to, his... to use his coal, right? Or not his coal, his beer. But probably beer, not. Yes. It's too late. Yes, it doesn't have any anything... Unless he builds a level one uh, a cotton in Kinderminster or Worcester and sell to the yeah. wild market using one of his own beer, there's nothing else he can do. I have to think that he really thought that Josh was not going to go into beer and that Josh was going to use his beer and flip the main yes. That's I Or he's still thinking, or he's still thinking that I can build another level three cotton. I don't remember how much money do I have right now, so. Maybe he was thinking like to build another level three cotton and in order to sell all three, I have to use his beer. But is there any real estate that you can, like, was there anywhere you could even play that cotton? Birmingham. Oh, in Birmingham. Sure, sure, sure. Birmingham is in this connect and Rao is connected. So. Yeah, got it. But you'd have Thanks to have to the perfect card and, and the right money. I have, to, I have Birmingham, yes. I don't, I don't remember what I think I had a Birmingham card in my hands for the entire canal era, so. How much does a level three cotton mill cost base? 16 plus one coal and one iron. So it's a lot of money. Yeah, you might not even have the cash to do it. Yeah, no, I don't think uh, as now I have the cash. Because you're paying loans too. <laughs> yes, minus five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not that the worst. I right? went to minus nine. Sure. In order sure. to be able to, to go with three cotton, uh, one beer and sell everything, so. I'm not, uh, you should not be afraid uh, in the canal era to go heavily on loan. <laughs> yeah. If you count, uh, if you count uh, all of your action and you think you can manage to pull out uh, a big sell. Right, right. If you can go for the triple. No. Yeah. If you can go for the triple, yes. Yeah, that's that's good stuff. So, okay, what is Josh, Josh do? He Josh flipped his, sold. and he's paying money for something. He's paying a lot of money, like 15 bucks. Oh, I built um, a level. Oh, yes, the last um, oh. iron. In oh, the that's Stockholm awesome. Ground. That's very good. Yes. Oh, very good, yeah. Yes. I'm surprised having, that we missed uh, that. <laughs> having all that, we were talking. Having all the three, the, the three big uh, iron mine out in the canal area is a, a good chunk of, uh, of points. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So it's not only a good chunk of points, yeah. but he has his income is high enough. What's the what's it at now? 13, 14, 15? Is that right? I can't read the board so well, but something Yeah, I can know. It's a, but yeah, he's got uh, enough income at this point that not having taken those earlier loans, he is actually just making a lot of money. Yes, now he yes, now he's paying off for him. Especially because he was he was able to use all the the iron mine and he sold uh, almost all the the iron that he put on the board so he got a lot of money as well that's, other than the income and it feels like that's one of those things where the cards really dictate that because i think probably on round seven like randy playing one of his iron mines would have been uh, like if he could have played a, an iron mine where josh just played his yeah. iron mine that would be probably more ideal for him right Yes, it, it could not because in the Canal Era you can only play one location, one building per location. Right. So you already had the manufactured good. Yeah. But yes, if some if someone else built an, uh, an iron mine before him, he would not be able to build the last one because it's a six uh, iron. So. Okay. 
my cat's being whiny because my partner yeah. left. She loves her so oh, much. I have, I have two dogs and the cats too, so I know. <laughs> Um, wow, two dogs. And now he's and red, a cat. red. Yeah. Two dogs and a cat, yes. Two Malamutes and a cat, yes. Whoa, not even small dogs. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm in, I'm, I live in Montana, so I need There, dogs you got the space there. for them to run around, right? Yes. <laughs> and now we are on red. I, I don't remember what red did, but red is not a, in a good place. No, it seems rough for him. Is a coal mine viable here? Yeah, it's a coal mine. There are. I have a spot, uh, so you can put a level two, yes. Yeah. If you, obviously, if he has <laughs> the cards, so he has two action. Let's see. I know Randy pretty well, and I can see his his thinking face there. That's the face of someone who who, who things did not pan out the way that he planned. <laughs> So yeah. yeah, I think uh, I think Josh going uh, for beer as well. Yeah, cripple a little bit. Is is thinking? Yeah. So Josh without has the beer, his... Josh would have been uh, would have been forced to use the right the, the beer or selling. Yeah, and so Josh has his finger in kind of a, a, a kind of amusing number of pies right now, right? He's sorta got manufacturing goods. Well, is that level two manufacturing good? Is it canal era? It's it's or does it last through the rail era? Level two, yes. Level two and up, they will last. Okay, I wasn't sure because there's like a gazillion. It's a good. Different... It's a good amount of money. It's five money. It's a good amount of points. It's five points each, so it's ten points right now and ten points in the rail era. So, level two manufactured goods are really really good i see why is that yeah. manufactured good track so long like is the is it worth it to develop past kind of the middle areas or as i said manufactured goods are really weird yeah they have the track here and and they don't you know they go up and down in points up and down in in income it's not as straightforward like iron coal and cotton for right. example so you need to use it uh, tactically I see. In my opinion, so you need to check uh, what is going on. You know, maybe in Birmingham, everyone put uh, two links in Birmingham. I'm not in Birmingham. I don't want them to get too many links points. So I put my level three manufacturer goods that doesn't give any link points. So I'm denying them some points. And there's the level five that gives you eight points and two links. Uh, it, it requires two beers. Mm hmm sell so it's really difficult manufacturer good is i i don't know how it goes with the game design for <laughs> manufacturer good i have no idea i have no clue i can't think about any reason to go as weird as they went <laughs> but it's and it's a and it's the last one uh, level eight is more or less uh, point-wise and income-wise and cost like uh, the level four cotton. Uh -huh. But you need a lot of developing to go there. And you de you will develop not in the canal, in the rail era. When you don't want to develop, you want to put links and other building there. So hmm. it's really, you can go to manufacture good, but you go for level two, obviously. And then maybe level five. I never saw anyone go over level five and win. So that's pretty funny. Um, yeah. So we see Randy did end up building a coal here, but unfortunately, it's not connected. So I, it seems certainly like one of those situations where, again, you're you're limited by the cards that you have, and that dictates your play quite a bit. Maybe he wants to use the coal in the rail era to double rail without spending too much. Totally. That makes a lot of sense. Or but he took a loan as well. So now he's minus three. Yep. So he's going into the rail. He's, there's still... No, I already went. I already sold everything. Yep. And then uh, so did... So did yeah. So he's, going, so he's going in the rail era with a minus four income and two beer on flip. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's really a lot of, of point missed and, and monies that he has to spend. Yep. Yep. Because he's, he's the only one with 
there's three unflipped buildings of his on the board right now and everybody yes. else's buildings are flipped so definitely seems like randy's kind of in the in the, the back position here um yes josh looking pretty pretty spicy with the, the four or i guess three iron in play that's three a lot iron, of points yes. mm-hmm. um jared's got basically the same kind of i think strategy approach as as randy did but uh i think maybe placed less but flipped everything i think he's maybe yes, got he one fewer yes. thing or maybe he actually has the same thing but he he and randy clearly are running a very similar game plan it just went better yeah for... they went manufactured good but but purple was able to flip both of his yep. here so it's a lot of points some good points and some income yeah well, i use that was another mistake i did so many mistakes <laughs> what was the other mistake i I saw I sold my cotton in the South Cotton uh-huh. market. Let me do a free um, develop, and I developed my last level three cotton instead of develop, developing the coal. Mm. That's a mistake. Because you need because the coal the, later. You need the coal later, and I have uh, in the rail era. I will have two market just for me. And the beer, if I can put one, will give me two beers. Yep. So I can sell four things. So the three level four cotton and the level three, if I have left it in the map. I see. So I should really, I should have really developed the coal instead. The cotton, leave the cotton there. Build all the four cotton building left. Yep. Yep. Try to get the one of the spot left for for beer. The beer and sell everything. Fascinating. Okay. I think that the thing, and then I didn't, the railer, I didn't took a spot for the beer was my, my demise. Yeah. Yeah. Because I went these... just, uh, yes, I was four points, I think, three or four points behind uh, Josh. So, uh-huh. yeah, the little things that come back to haunt you, right? Yeah. Yes. But, I lost this one, but I was able to go in <laughs> brass in my yeah, final. Yeah, that, so that that everything's matters, good. Right? Yes. So then you um looks like you're at thirty something points, is that right? Maybe thirty eight there? Thirty eight. Thirty eight. Yes, I have here, so it'll okay. be me at thirty eight, uh, Josh yellow at forty one, purple at thirty six, and red at twenty four. Gotcha. And is that would you say a pretty pretty standard round of scoring for our more first or less? Round? Yes, it's standard. Yes. Yeah. No one, uh, no one but Red is uh, really behind. So I will say right now, looking at this, if I'm not playing, they say look at this map. I will say Red is already over. Yeah. He's paying in the and the start of the real era, so that's that's a no no. The, he has two on flip to be they will be flipped obviously in the real era mm-hmm. but he's he has 10 less points right for that he has a coil there he's not even the first so that call will be used for someone else and probably that beer will be used from someone else to mm-hmm. do a double rail so it's he's in a very bad position all the other three are more or less the same if i'm I can read my note. Me and Yellow have 28 points on the map that we will score later. So we are on the same level. And Purple has 25. So we're still there. We're... Got it. There's yeah. no clear people, someone going really ahead. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Yellow has a good, has a good income. That's sure. true. And M&M's. Sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, starting the rail era like that, I will say is everyone's game but red. Right. Are you broke right now? I can't quite look at your money stack, but are you oh no, you've got a couple fives in there. No, I should have eleven or twelve. Okay, but but uh purple and, and yellow, Josh and Jared both have a lot more a lot more money on hand right now. Yes, yes. Got it. Cool. So I'm, I'm I will be I will for sure loan more and put some uh, some cotton where it has to be put. Got it. Right on. Okay. Well, so that brings us to the end of Canal. We're gonna gonna take a break and, and do our, our real lives and then come back for, for railroad soon. 
Hello, everyone. Uh, I know for those of you who are watching, it's only been a brief moment, but for Luca and I, uh, who have real lives, it's been over a month since we did the first part of our video. So just as a quick recap for us, we've got uh, Jared and Purple uh, and Luca as White, uh, who are kind of neck and neck positionally, we think, right now. Um, Jared is kind of doing like a boxes and beer strategy. Luca is doing a pretty heavy cotton strategy. Uh, Randy on red is doing a similar strategy to Jared, but he had a much rougher uh, kind of canal phase because he didn't manage to flip all the things. In fact, we can see on the board multiple beer that's sitting out there, some coal that's sitting out there kind of unconnected right now. Um, and then finally, we've got Josh, who I think uh, is a little bit ahead at this stage. He dumped all of his iron in play and had kind of a, a very low loan strategy, just kind of making a lot of money off of income in the canal era. Um, Luca, what would you say people are really focused on doing at the beginning of the um, rail era that we're about to start? So in the rail era, the, the biggest thing are the links. Because in the canal, you can build one link for one action. In the rail era, you have the option to build a two rail in one action. So you're doubling your income, you're maximizing your points. Yeah. And uh, but the big things for the double rail is it requires two coal and a beer. So you need to be connected to coal and you need to have a beer on the board. Now we know that the red has two beers and the coal, so someone will probably use, obviously will use the coal and will use one or both beer. So if I remember correctly, purple will go ahead with a double rail using the beer on top on derby and the coal. And the big rail are on the top so in the one that i already talked about the beer triangle yeah derby yeah. utoxeter stone and burton and trent they always have at least one beer spot and every single beer no matter what the level has two links points so having connecting to two beers it gives you already four points for sure so and utoxeter as we see here that two beers already so it's four point if you connect to toxeter to derby or stone so those are a lot of points when birmingham is used birmingham is another cool place to put a rail because it's the, the location was the most uh, connection right so, so if like everyone puts something in there you'll have at least four points just on birmingham so we will see a lot of uh, rail action and some selling for sure i will try to sell because i'm going cotton yeah but someone else will try probably to build um, pottery because level one pottery is the only one that you can build in the rail era and it's 10 points so it's a it's a big amount of, of points yeah but we'll see a lot of rail for sure the book more or less the board will be completely covered in rails at the end of the game great um okay let's dive into it if you are ready we'll uh we'll start the video yep, let's go yep. three two one play <laughs> we're syncing up so that we can watch at the same time so jared's kicking us off here uh, and we'll see if he does exactly what you said take advantage of that free beer that free coal um i think he thinks about this for a bit actually I kind of time stamped it ahead a little bit before he played his first card. Um, so he'd, he'd been looking at his hand for a while at this point, probably trying to figure out what connects where. And so he connects, um, that's his own flipped box there, right? Is there any advantage to connecting to his own? Oh, you have to connect to your own network. He's, he's limited by where he is. Yes, your, your link are limited to the new network and he's using the call, the free call and the beer. So he doesn't have to pay too much. He pays only 15. Yep. And the call right now is uh, three. So it's not so costly, but it will be in a little bit. And there will be no more call available. Yeah, I mean, it start to spend really fast, right? <laughs> yes, yes. 
Yeah, so I guess to yeah. your point, that one play there, he paid fifteen dollars. He got freebie resources, right? He got freebie coal, freebie beer. Um, but if all of those buildings there get built, then he's scoring four and five. So it's a nine point play for fifteen dollars, yes. which is obviously in one, yes. great. In one in one action is nine points, yes. Yeah. Is so it generally... if, if you think that the average is should be five points per action. You can see that the double railing it's a, it's a lucrative and and very efficient way to spend an action where does that five points per action number come from it's an average on the game people try to pick the average points that you should have and we being between 150 and 160 is what most players want to to aim and with the 31, uh, 31 action in total in a four player games, uh, it's more or less five points per, per action. Got it. So it's actually even in most instances reasonable to build just one rail. If you, if you don't have beer to use, yes, you can only build one rail at a time. Yes, one rail for one action. And you don't want to give beer like happen there. You don't want to be, give your beer to someone else to double rail. But Reddit didn't have any choice. It, it, I think he thought that I was, was able to use his beer when I was not, but it is what it is. Yeah. He tried sure. and yeah. Um, and so he looks like he's thinking about a second action there. I can't totally see his money, but he looks like he's sitting on a stack of fives. Let's say he's sitting at like 30 bucks right now or something mm -hmm. like that. Is this just another rail action given that there's another beer out there? I don't know how many fives. I can really count how many fives, but it will be 15 minimum, so three stacks. And then, depending on where it goes, uh, it will have to pay three at least and one free. Oh, no, he's scouting. Oh, interesting. Okay. interesting. Yes, I scouting is a, it's a good action. i not suggesting to do it uh, on the f first few turns uh, because you don't know what you can draw. So I'm suggesting when I'm doing that, scouting when the deck is empty. So you know that you can't draw anything that you need. Right. Or scouting when you have a very, very bad hands. But in the first turn in the rail era, I, I don't know if he, if he had a, a very bad hand, but there are still spots available to, to build and you don't need any particular card to do the rail connection. So I'm, I'm not sure why he wanted to, to scout. Maybe is there any possibility that he was trying to keep his spending low to go early in a turn order next turn? Can, can be, yes, but he has a good, uh, where he is? Oh no, he's at, at four income. So yeah, I would have taken a loan instead of a scout if I wanted to, to stay low so to have more money for the, the next rounds. And maybe he wants to build something and he doesn't have the card. It, it is, he wants to be faster than the other. Hmm. For sure, there are less beer, beer spots. There are one, two, three available. So if you can't uh, overbuild because you don't have the cards, you want to use those spots. Can you overbuild a beer only with your own? You can overbuild your own. You can even overbuild your own only things. Only your own, though. Yeah. It has to be uh, at least one level higher. Yeah. But you can always overbuild your things. But you can't overbuild someone else's beer. No. Whereas the only thing that you can overbuild from someone else is um, iron and the coal. Yeah. But there has to be no iron and no coal on the on the whole map. So even on the market. Yeah, sounds good. And so then it looks like you took two actions here to build a, a single rail and a single rail. Is that correct? Or was that a double and I missed the beer? No, no, I put one single rail, one single rail because yeah. there was no chance no for me to use. connect to the beer. Yes. So I pick the Utoxeter Derby. There are already six points and there will be more probably mm -hmm. in the future. And I connected on... Um, um, on the south is north for me right now, but it's the map is reversed. So I can build um, the cotton because cotton requires calls. So I need to be connected to a coal source. 
Gotcha. And you know no one else is going to build that for you. Yes, because, yes. And I know that those spots on the south are just mine because no one else uh, developed cotton. So there are a few spots that will be mine for sure and for the entirety of the game. Yeah. So wait, you said that rail that's off of Utoxeter is worth six points? I thought it was one point per building that it connected to. It depends on the link. Every single beer, no matter the level, is two link points each. That's why the beer is so convenient and oh. it's so used. Yes, it's one of the few um, things on brass that has two link points. Got it. Okay, okay. And, and so three it... beer over there, two on two Toxeter and one on Derby is already six points. Got it, got it. That does Yeah, beer is something, why... beer yeah, is, yeah. is really something that almost everyone wants to to connect, build and expand and connect to. Yeah. And that's why the, the, the Nord, the top, uh, the Nord part is the, the most valuable for Link in the rail era. That makes total sense here. Um... So then we are on Randy's turn right now. Turn. Looks like he is. Think you were very fast. You knew exactly what you wanted to. Your turn was over. Yes, I wanna. I wanted the, to to get the the, the points uh, from Toxeter and not having anyone use it. And I didn't have to use any call because the call was free. There was just one call, and then I had to connect to a call source for starting build my my cotton. Yeah. So. Randy probably wants to use the beer of his that's in play, I would guess. Yes, he should before someone else snatch it again. He already lost one beer. So I think he wants to use the second. And for for him is easier because your beer, you don't need to be connected to use it when you do a double rail. With someone else, you have to be connected. So. Yeah. Would his other play here be something like making a coal mine because coal's getting expensive? So he doesn't have to kind of pay through the nose for that and then it would flip automatically or is it just not worth it to build coals that much? No, if uh, he's, uh, he's still uh, low on income. Coal is good for income to offset the loans, obviously, because it doesn't give you so many points. But in the real era, when coal gets expensive because everyone tried to do double rail then you want to to build it for you primarily so you don't have to spend or if you can sell it right away you get uh, tons of money because when when coal gets to six or seven each then flipping one coal will give you 15 20 20 money so it's almost uh, as good as a loan Mm-hmm. but yes he should he should be the call and then double rail if he wants huh? the available spot for him will be oh no it's just double railing yeah it started off with the double rail here um because josh so it's the going, two call yeah. and so it looks like he's connecting uh I'll, I think what's, what's the name of that city off to the uh <laughs> it's on the board it's yes it's a, the, the north uh, uh derby to east. nottingham okay i think yes. why do you think he's connecting to nottingham <sighs> i'm not maybe he wants to sell pottery okay so if he's he has a pottery for... card maybe belper or uh-huh. stafford so he wants to connect there. and that is already four points uh, of links Four points. Yeah, oh, there are other, there's points yes, to connect two to for, for the market and two for the beer. Yeah. Another four points uh, will be Birmingham to the empty market, but then it does is an empty market. So if he wants to sell something, that would be not very good for him. Yeah. <laughs> Looks so like you're, he's, you're, you're making an argument for him to connect to Birmingham there. <laughs> And then he has to connect to call. So one has, yes, we are all pointing of which rail can use. So one, two, he has only three rails, really. Oh, okay. Burton on Trent to Cannock, Burton on Trent to... Because he has to buy the call off the market. Yes, yeah. because you need to be, yes, you need, that's the, the, the drawback of building a rail 
a link in the rail area, you will have always to be connected to a call source. Yeah, which is annoying. So that limit, beginning. yes, limit your 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 the spot where you can build a rail. Yeah, and that's why it's important in the canal era to have at least one building adjacent to a market. Oh, so you can start okay. from there because you will be already touching the market and you can pay from the market and then you can start going. But if you don't have any position close to the market, then you have to rely on other people. Gotcha. Yeah. And that gets and you're, yes, you'll be limited on, on your action. Oh, that's a good, I don't, don't think I'd ever thought of that before. That makes a lot of sense. So having to connect there to the market because you want to be able yeah, to, because, to yes. import the coal essentially. Um, right. And you can't even connect in the middle. Otherwise you couldn't connect to somewhere to build coal because in order to build the connection, you need the coal in the first place. Yes. So, yes. So right. the, the center right now is completely unusable. Uh -huh. So there's only Cannock. Birmingham is going to can, I guess. You could, you could, um, I guess you could build a coal and then build out of the coal, right? Because the coal yes. still just you can build a coal steel. and build out of the coal, yes. So that'd be the way you could get around that, I guess. Yeah. But it, it always depends on the car that you have in hand. Yeah. To build a coal, because you just the location, you need the, the location card to build the coal. You don't need anything to build the, the rail link. You just need to, to discard a card, so. I don't, Randy's is the only money that we can't really see um, right now. I, just, I think he has a fair amount because I think at the end of the canal era, he ended up taking some loans. Yes, but he had to pay. He was on minus three at the end of the canal. Not, it's not too much, but starting. Oh, and he'd be okay. He built the call so in Dudley. Build the call. So, Maybe he has only so Dudley. Yeah, that's interesting, right? I mean, I, I guess I wonder, maybe he really wanted to connect to Canuck in the, more, in the north, but like, I wonder if it, if he had led playing that coal, because you can use your beer from anywhere, right? Like he could have connected yes. to the market with the first rail and then the second rail, he could have built out of his coal and yeah, saved but himself it, a couple bucks. Yes, but right now that, his two links are the most val valuable because he connected to Burton and Trent. He has already three link points. I see. Sure. So it... maybe he wants to build uh, another call and sell, or maybe he wants to go to the brewery beside the Canuck. Mm. So have this spot just for him. Got it. Because in the, in the mm. real era, uh, the, the brewery, Beside Canuck is really valuable. How come? If you can put a link, because if you can put a link oh, it's, between it's Canuck and the brewery, you will be the only one able to use it. So it will be yours for the entirety of the game. Yep. Instead of the other, you know, there's a stuff for the steel available and uh, nothing else. So if someone has Stafford, then you have Stafford, but someone builds before you, then you can no longer build. So that one is one of the the best spot for the rail era for for beer because you will know that you will be the only one to be able to build so you can take your time and do something else instead of rushing because you don't know if someone else can do it before you yep yep that makes a lot of sense so he's kind of building to that okay cool and then josh here looks like he's just super excited he slams down uh, a beer and then starts a beer on stone and then start a double loaning yeah, yeah. So and easy. then i guess that that link is then seven points right because it's connected to three yes, beers it's seven points yep. wow, yeah, three beers yeah. and one uh, one crate yeah yeah and so then he's connecting up to his own his own iron mine up there do you think he's just going for maximizing link points by going up north or is he going for the market if or... he's if he's going up north and not going on stafford it means that he doesn't have a stafford card or some beer card so yeah. he wants to maximize his points well for stafford because... i mean if he had a just a beer card right he could build there 
It can be though, or maybe he wants, he still has, uh, I think, yes, he still has a level 2 crate to build if he wants. Mm -hmm. No, but even the build, I don't think he has the stuff for car because all the three uh, pottery manufacturer goods and beers require, oh no, they require iron, so he can build even if he doesn't have the connection over there. But then you will have to, I think he's trying just to maximize his points. He's a little slightly ahead, so he wants to to pick the best spot in for his uh, rail. Yeah. And then maybe build something. Yeah, it seems like Josh's kind of, I think, game plan at this point is just mostly rails, probably, right? I mean, he's, he's his boxes are not well yeah. developed. He can't build cotton. I guess he could do a pottery <laughs> along the way to score some points there. Yeah, sense. 10 points, yes. And he has he has the money because he has a 13, I think, uh, income or something like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, 13 income. So 13 income is almost... Uh, paying the 15 for the for the double rail by itself and then he has only to pay for for the call clever so yes no and then right now he's in a very good position to just hammering rails uh, everywhere right because of the and maximize his points yeah. yes because the income all right so we flip into the next round you're first because you just took two single rail actions and uh, did you take a loan? Is that your first action? No, I took. A, oh, I don't. I don't remember what. It, no, I did the one rail, one rail. So two action. No, no, no. In the yeah, second turn, no. turn, turn two. Now. Oh, second. Uh, let's see what I'm doing. You, you built a cotton mill. Oh, on derby, yes. Oh, that was that was good for me. That the red built uh, the the connection to the market on derby. Mm, right, because to build so, the cotton mills, you need both the steel I, and I need the yes, yes. So I have, a, mm -hmm. I need the coal. So I need to be connected and coal. And yeah, and then now coal is really, really expensive. Yep. And then was your so second yes, action have, loan? For your first action? Probably first yes, action? the first action loan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a, you've got a horrible. Actually, I think you're at zero income right now. <laughs> yep. Oh no, am I? I'm almost yes. I'm always right there because I, especially with the with the, the cotton strategy, cotton is very expensive. The level four costs sixteen points plus one coal and one iron. Okay, so like twenty. So plus. it's yeah, it's yes. It go it's, it can go at, at thirty. So if someone start um, using iron and the coal. Then you need to use a loan for every single level four cotton that you want to build. So mm -hmm. it's it's very expensive. But it's twelve points each one. So right, it pays it pays for itself in points. It pays pays very well. It's almost yes, it's almost a double rail. Yeah. So, one thing I'm noticing right now is there's there's almost no coal in the public market, right? Like we're down to the last three coal. Like coal is very expensive right now. And yeah. if I remember correctly, flipping coal is not that many points. You know, like playing a coal tile, you know, you get some money back, you get to flip it for, for some income, but they're not worth that many points. So do people like building coal? Do they avoid building coal? Like it's kind of feeling like people are, are hoping someone else builds it <laughs> for them. Coal is, uh, is just... Uh call is good to get money and to offset the loan uh -huh. so if someone builds a call and sell everything you will get between 12 and 70 money so and you get some points so if you get almost half of a loan or more than half of a loan plus some points it's better to to build a coal mine instead of getting a loan but it really needs to be down there. You know, it's not like... Yeah, it needs to be almost empty. Right now, yes. It's, right it's now it's better empty. to build a coal mine if you know that you will flip instead of taking a loan. Yeah. But yeah. it's not my case because I'm still... <laughs> I, sure, I, yeah, I still have, I still have nightmare because not... not <laughs> you didn't develop Developing my, my level one coal, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so we got 
Jared here is setting up his turn. I go with, I'm curious what Jared's game plan is overall. You know, he's kind of. Yes, two. Yes, he has two wilds, so he can do almost whatever he wants. Right. Because he can build whatever, whatever he wants. So I don't know if he wants to go, and against rail or not using maybe the call. Yeah, one of the interesting things about his strategy here is he, um, he has a lot of options, right? He can build boxes. If he can get more beer, great. Yeah. Of course, he likes building rail links oh. just like everyone else. He can yeah. build iron. Okay. Oh, there's the so beer. He put a beer on Stafford. See, if someone else had the Stafford card, now yeah. he can no longer build beer. Yep. And I don't know if he uses the wild card or not. If he uses the wild card, then... That's why you pick a scout action. Yeah, I didn't quite catch that myself either. Um, no, so there's no there's no way to, to see the cards. Oh, sure. So, okay. sure. Um, so, so it, do you think that it's then maybe worth it? Like he's just, he needs, he wants to have built that beer so much that he's willing to. Can be if, if he wants to, probably wants to double rail again, especially now that there are some call, if he can use the call for free. Oh, sure, if he can connect down to... to if he can connect to the call, he will just spend 15. I think they can double rail. Can he, though? Oh, I guess out of Birmingham. Yes, out of Birmingham, if he wants to use the call. If not, he can... If he has the money, he can double rail anywhere and use his own his own beer. That seems worth it to me to not spend $10 to go, like, limit your choices of where you're expanding from. I would probably do that, like, going out of Birmingham there. So it's panic. No. <laughs> yes, I remember there was a lot of thinking. It's 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 obviously a lot of thinking because right now you are getting less and less option to build the things. If you don't have the, the, the cards, if you don't have the location card, you have only the the industry card, then you have to build on your network. And when people start to put links, then your network gets smaller and smaller. Mm. Right now, the smallest one is mine <laughs> because I'm on just on Derby yeah. and on the exactly. on the south. So my option for for my option for a link are very limited, but I'm going cotton, so it's not a big deal. You mean because you're not sp- competing for the same spaces? Yes, I'm not. No, yes. Oh. See, it's building. Oh, it's building a call. Four, uh, six, uh, sixteen po- sixteen money. Yeah. A bump okay. of uh, I don't can see. It's level two. Bump of seven income and two points. So. It seems so. I guess how much do you pay? How much do you pay for a level two coal? Oh, now I don't remember. I think it's seven. Seven was also what I was going to say. So we'll say it's seven plus three for the iron. So he spent 10, rebated himself 16, seven bumps on the income, two victory points. And seven bumps on the income does not mean that his income goes up by seven. Like where he's at, it means it no, goes, it goes up by like yeah, three. Yeah, it's like, like good. That, right? probably goes up by three, but it's still good. Yeah. Yeah. The, the problem is that he left some uh, some beer for uh, someone else to use. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, he he maybe used a wild card, or maybe he just happened to have Stafford to build that beer, and now other folks are going to be able to take advantage. I mean, I guess the person who really can take advantage of it is Josh, right? Or I guess Randy is also connected right there with the. Yes, with it's the like, with the link between Burton and Trent and Kenneck. But Red Randy built uh, an iron mm-hmm. on Dudley using his own call and then oh and then another call on Kenneck. So he's I guess oh. just juicing up his income here is sort of the idea. Yes, a lot. Yeah. Where did he build the iron? In on Dudley. Where he put the the call the the previous ah, round. Got it. Got it. So got he didn't. It, got it, got it. Yes. So he didn't have to to spend the call, yes. to spend the call. 
and you shouldn't have the possibility to build on Dudley the iron without building the coal previously because Dudley is not connected to anything yep. and the iron must call so probably he, he built the coal there because he wanted to, to build the, to build iron, the iron there yep that's clever And now coal went from being crazy expensive to very cheap. Yeah, from six to three. Yes, this is a big, uh, it's a big leap. This actually went pretty nicely for Josh in a lot of ways, right? Because he he wants to build links. That's his primary point scoring mechanism with Dink right now. And so coal went from from very expensive to a reasonable almost, price. Yeah. And then also some beer came on board that he could use that's connected right next to him he still has yes he still has one beer on stone that he can use and it's your oh, he's so, at his own yeah sure, sure. We, we, will, we will start with uh, that one first i Does don't know he... if he has enough money to quadrail i don't think so probably not yeah but he will probably i don't remember and we were pointing at uh, the money so he wants to be i think he wants to be the first uh, next round so he wants to spend the least amount so let's see one i mean he could just take a loan here right? oh he's, he's scouting first okay i guess maybe he doesn't think he doesn't need and the then it ah oh, and oh, then he, he takes he take take a loan okay. so he spent nothing okay he that have, that's good for him yeah he he probably could have gotten away with spending something right it's not like there's a lot of money spent out there Yes, but well maybe he wants to build something in, in particular, in a particular spot, and he doesn't have the card. Mm. So he wanted to scout to be sure to be able to, to build there and then loan. Yeah, or maybe he just wanted to go first, quad rail, and then go yeah. to the bathroom because he'll quad definitely rail. go last next turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can be, yeah. So he's learning. Yeah, he's just figuring out, I think, what cards he was using for his loan or whatever. But yep. um, okay, okay, so, so. money-wise, I think we're almost having an inverse of the, the turn order. It's going to be kind of like a flip. Yes. Yeah, but if he's for sure first, we call zero. <laughs> You're just comparing. I should be last because. Yeah, you went. You went all my the way. Cotton, yeah, my cotton. Yeah, my cotton. cotton. Yeah, yeah. Cotton yeah. strategy yeah. of all of them seems like the one that's kind of like first, last, first, last is very much the yo-yo. And if if you want, if you have something to do, that you really want to do, that's the best, uh, the best strategy, the yo-yo, because you have four action. Yep. All together. You need to, you need to count. You need to spend wisely. But if you can pull it out, you'll have four action all, all together, and that's a big, uh, big deal. If you know what what you want to do, and you are racing or competing for some spot with someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Did uh, did Josh just run off? Was this a bathroom break in the game? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, now it's it's a, it's an interesting now it's an interesting board. So there are a lot of beers and some coal to use. Yep. So it's uh, it's tough to see who is 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 winning right now. So for Josh. Josh Good. Yeah, Josh is going for obviously he's going for Link. Yeah, so the quad rail, yeah, because why can not, be quad right? rail, can be double rail, and maybe build something. He can, sure. if he wants, uh, he can pick uh, the beer spot beside Kenok. Oh, you go sure. Wolverhampton. He can go double rail Wolverhampton Kenok, and then Kenok uh, connecting to the beer spot. And he will have a free beer spot before everyone else. And maybe that's why he, he, he scouted. But he doesn't, he, didn't have to, any... he doesn't need to build it just yet, right? Like he can just kind of connect the rail. No, but maybe he doesn't have the, the beer card. So he wants to be sure to have the beer card instead of have, 
hoping that uh, he will pick, he will draw the beer cards. You're saying that's why he scouted. Why he scouted. Yes, well, maybe is why he scouted. He doesn't have to build right now. No, no, no. But he can just lock in uh, the beer spot for himself and then do something else. And already knowing that he has at least one card for um, to build the, the beer. Is there any reason to think that he wouldn't just build four rails here? I mean, is there... I don't know if he has enough money. Ah, or actually, so... 30 plus four coal and two iron. Well, but he took a loan. Two coal is 30, so it, it pays for the two, the 215. Then he has to have money for the four coal and the two iron. So well, I don't know. He if had he like had... he had more than ten last turn. He gets his income from this. Uh, turn. He had yes, he has twelve. I don't remember, but yes, he can. He can for right. sure. So he's got to have like fifty bucks on hand right now or something, right? Yeah. So he, he can if you. And if he wants to quadrail, probably the best. If he wants to quadrail, for sure it will go Wolverhampton, Canock, Canock, the beer. Right. I will do that because so I have one beer spot just for me. Yep. And no one else. And then probably Stone Stafford, another, right. because there are two, two beer. So you can get one of the beers there, so, there for the yeah. fourth quad or fourth rail. Yeah, and then I don't know. There's a lot of uh, valuable spots. There are still a lot of valuable spots on the map so he can go almost uh, almost everywhere if he wants could connect i guess birmingham to coventry or if he wants to save he cannot connect coal. birmingham to coventry because there is not connected to oh, coal right coal? now there's no coal right yeah yeah this coal is still a, still a big uh, yeah i think for sure it will go wolverhampton canock canock the beer well let's see Yeah, what are the what are the um in, in the first, in the canal era, you know, people are racing for iron mostly, right? Like building iron, developing, kind of like that competition is sort of the like main point. And then in this rail era, it seems like our main points of tension are like, where's the coal coming from, so that we can continue building our rails, yes. facilitated by these beers that we have along the way here. Yes, the, the the main thing that almost everyone does is uh, trying to double rail because you're using one action for two rails, so you, you're maximizing your action instead of doing one action, one rail, one action, one rail. But it's it's difficult because if you put a beer for yourself in order to double rail, you use only one beer, so you're leaving one other beer for someone else. Mm. You need to check who is behind you or after you to see if it's you know if you if you are competing, maybe it's not so beneficial for you to double rail if you mm. cannot get more points than him. So it's uh, it's tough, and then you need always to have a connection to call. So if you're not if at the end of the canal era your position is not so good then you're you can go everywhere how much so you're limited uh canal era are you thinking about where am i you know if you're choosing between places how much do you decide oh i want the rail era to look like this or is it really just kind of like you you make it it depends on your card and depends what you want to to sell but i will try always try to have a little spot on derby Derby mm -hmm. or okay. Toxeter, uh -huh. so you, you can start going there for for the beer links. Mm -hmm. Then Birmingham, if it's uh, available and he has a market open, but at least uh, if you can't decide or if you don't have uh, much choices, at least one spot close to a market. Mm -hmm. No matter what market, but you need to have at least one spot to close to a market because if not you will be completely left out to build a rail unless someone start connecting your your network to uh, to the coal market so for sure 
obviously there are spots close to a market that are better than others but if you cannot choose just pick a spot and stick to that mm-hmm. you want to to be adjacent to at least one market at the start of the rail era it looks like josh is doing exactly what we said Several rails, so yeah. well, so stone stafford yeah stone stafford stafford cannock okay that's a big amount of point and he flipped his own beer so yep yep giving him back some of that loan income and then he's going again he has a link uh, Yes, he has a link, so okay. So now he can take the Canuck. Oh, okay, he and he's still, okay. Market. Sure, sure, sure. So he didn't have to go from Wolverhampton, he got from the, yeah, from the he top. He connected from the north. Yeah, from Stafford, yes. And he connected, oh, he connected to the market on top. Yeah, nice for people building boxes. I guess he could be a person <laughs> yeah. building boxes, so. Yes, he still have a level two boxes that it's worth five points, so it's not so bad. And every market uh, is two links a point. Yeah. So it's yeah. still four points plus uh, probably five points at the end of the game. So it's still good. So one thing um, I was thinking about while we were talking about using all this beer for building rails is, does it make it harder for people to sell things in the rail era? Like there's just no beer to sell in, boxes. Yes, in the rail era, there's unless you're the cotton player, all the other building are not so valuable and remember if if you can use the beer to double to double rail or quad rail if you can and use the beer on the market to sell right right so, so the beer in the rail in, in the rail course. era it's better <laughs> in the rail era it's better to use the beer or the rail and use the mark the beer market to sell yeah if you can and the only thing that you want to sell, or if you're going cotton, you sell your cotton. The pottery is a very big, uh, big deal, and you want to do to do that for ten points. Manufacturer goods are really, really weird. Mm. So, the level three, for example, doesn't require beer, so you can put it and then sell it anytime. Got it. But it's just, uh, if I remember correctly, four points. And it costs 12 plus two calls. So it's very expensive for oh. for the amount of points that it gives. Then the level four requires a beer, requires iron, so you can build whatever you want, but it gives you just three points. So it's, yes, the amount of points on manufactured goods are really weird. And then there's the level five. The level five, it's, <laughs> I don't know, it's eight points and two link point. So it's... Uh, it's it's really good, but it requires two beer to sell, uh-huh. and there are two of them. Uh-huh. So it's yes, it's going for manufactured goods in the railway era. It's really a gambling. You can do it, and then if you can pull it out, it gives you a very good amount of point, almost as good as uh, as cotton. But it's really weird that you need really to think about that and maybe use too much too many develop action or too many action to go there uh-huh yeah so it's i don't know it's it's very it's very hard to pull out a victory going just to manufacture goods and maybe some beer so do you so like in this game there are three people who have built at least some manufactured goods right like why if because the level two the level two is really good Okay, if you can that. put it on the level two is really good it's a five point and it costs you 10 plus one iron so you can put it wherever you want you don't need to be connected and if you can build it and sell it in the in the canal era it's 10 points God. five plus five so that's really good but after that uh, the manufacturer goods start to get a little bit tricky to use it so you want you should if you want to go manufacture good you should develop level three and four and try to go for the level five both of level five because of the points that they're worth because of the points and you have to put them where are where your links your your rail are Mm -hmm. so you get x points every time but it's yeah it's really difficult if you can get the beer to make it work (laughs) yes if you can make yeah Um, for example josh now with these 
beer location just for him can go for if he wants for for manufactured goods but it's it's a little bit uh, behind because it's still uh, need to to build this level two so i don't think he will go that yeah so then we saw randy did a double rail kind of out of his his little coal area over there to, he took that last beer that yeah, was yeah. available <laughs> using, uh, yes using purple beer yeah and so did you catch what the second action was because i think he's finished this turn oh uh, yeah but on my notes uh... I think he's scouted. Double scouting. rail, then scout. A lot of scouting. Is that pretty common? Yes, it's no. Okay. <laughs> three people, three people scouting is the first time that I, I saw in a, in one game. Yeah. Maybe they want to do something specific. But there are still we are on the round two, so there are still a lot of cards, available. Mm -hmm. Three now though, right? Yeah, round three. Yes, round three. So it's uh, unless he wants to build pottery, and there are just three spots available, or build something that manufacture good. There are a lot of spots uh, available, so that's not a thing. But mm -hmm. maybe he wants to build something, and it's afraid that someone else can steal the spot f from him. For sure. So Jared, then, just, did Jared, Jared yes, just, overbuilt, overbuilt his own, uh, his own beer. His own beer is that points wise worth it? Is it just the desperation? Like I need the beer. Can be the desperation. Point wise, it's just if I remember correctly, it's just a two points yeah. swing from level two to level three, because it's five on level two and seven on level three. So it's the best thing will be if you can overbuild the level two. With a level four so instead of five you get 10 points so okay. you're doubling your points and that it's convenient for that kind of thing maybe he wants to double rail and doesn't have any there are no more spots available for beer yeah well, so he, he also, has to overbuild right he, he has to overbuild if he his... wants yeah if he wants to use the beer for double rail or for selling he has to overbuild right right um and so i wonder he built that beer in Stafford, which then Josh and Randy got to take advantage of. Is that, yeah. you know, looking at that, is that an exchange that's good for him because he, you know, got his beer tile flipped at seven points. He didn't have to do any work for it. Or is it ultimately bad because he didn't get to use his beer? He didn't get to use his beer. And if you see Josh with the double, with the double rail stone, uh, uh, Stafford, Stafford Cannon, He's already got two, three, four, five, six, seven points as well. Yeah. Plus the other double rail action that he used. So I think he was gambling on someone not using it, or maybe mm. he was counting to be the second. So being able to use another he beer of them, instead yeah. of he spent too much. So he had to to be to overbuild his own beer in order to to double rail again. Yeah. I mean, I guess the yeah, main way... When you do this, things like that, you need to count. Uh, it's One of the things that I really appreciate of Brass Birmingham is the more you spend, the least uh, you are in last in turns. So yeah. you need to, to check how much you want to spend, but maybe you need to spend that amount of money. But then in the, in the next round, you'll be late in the game, so people can do things that you want to do. Yeah. So I really love these things that you need to have a balance between how much you want to spend and what you want to do in order to stay always on, on top and to be able to go before other people. Yep. That makes sense. And then, yes, you overbuild and then double rail. Yes, double rail. Yeah. Knock, uh, double rail to, the, to connect yeah. through the middle, yeah. essentially, to Birmingham. Through the middle, yeah. Um, now almost everything is connected to coal yes yeah yeah so for when you're building your beer or when you're overbuilding your beer i guess the only way to prevent other players from using it is to put it far away from existing networks right because now yeah that one's kind of for different. example right now in nuniton is not nothing adjacent to nuniton is connected to coal so yeah. you cannot just put a link on um, Birmingham and Eaton, for example, yep. because it's not connected to coal. 
So Nuniton is, is a good spot if you want to keep the beer for yourself for a little bit. Because well, then Bir- everything will be connected. But Birmingham is connected to coal, right? Because it's connected to the massive... Right coal. now, right now, yes, because yeah. he double railed. Because he connected it, yeah. <laughs> because he connected. Because before it was not connected. So now, yes, someone else, just him and the red can do that. Mm-hmm. And, and Josh from Coventry. So I loaned... Oh, yes, I loaned and I built um, an iron. iron on Derby. That was an open iron spot, right? You know. Yes, yeah, so it was an open iron spot. Yeah. Yes. I guess it would. So I got some money. There. I took a loan for my next cotton, and then if I can flip the the, I will, I will for sure flip the, the iron, and I will offset my loan again. Yeah. Yeah. So the iron is dirt cheap. Um, who is that? What is that? I mean, it's good for you because you need iron to build those high level cotton mills. Um. Who? Who? Who else cares about iron being very cheap? Okay, beer always requires iron. Oh, sure. No matter the level. So beer is always iron. So then uh, the level two uh, manufacturer goods for Jaws, for example. Mm. Then level four manufacturer goods and level six and eight manufacturer goods. There are still some... Uh, some building that requires iron, and then level three and four uh, coal require iron. Uh-huh. So there's there's still a good amount, and then you can still develop if you really are desperate for flipping your iron. You can still develop. Is it reasonable to develop at this stage in the game, or is it just too late to really? Need it? It's reasonable if you want to go above level two manufacturer goods. You should develop the level three and four. Mm-hmm. They're not really worthy for um, the balance between cost and points given i don't think they're really worthy is it possible to build your level two manufacturing goods in the canal era and then develop up to level five during the canal era with the plan of building those in the rail era or is that just with the manufacturer with the manufacturer goods play yes you can okay You, you can yes you can you you'll be it you one one of the good moves that you can do so you're ready ready in the rail era to to build your level five or go over the level five yeah. the good things about cotton over manufactured goods and that you develop everything in the canal era for cotton and then you just build in the in for the manufactured goods you you can't develop as much so you will have to develop some on the rail era so you are losing tempo you're losing action if you want to go over the level five uh, manufacturer goods that gives you more points but that's detrimental yeah because you don't want most of the time in the real era you don't want to to develop right because it doesn't give you any points and in the real era it's it's all about points yeah in the canal era you can use some action you can lose some points it doesn't really matter but in the rail era, especially if some people go heavily on beer double rail or beer quad rail, then you cannot you cannot afford to lose any action. Mm-hmm. And so for you, you just took your first turn of the fourth round, and we see just how money hungry the uh, cotton strategy is because you flip your iron and then immediately take another loan. <laughs> yes, because I, I yes I built another level four cotton so i was able to flip uh, the iron and then i need the money for the my last yep. level for cotton so and then but right now i know for sure right now you see cotton is good because i have two cotton 12 points each yep. and two market that only they're only available to me right because no one has obviously developed uh, cotton and no one's will develop cotton yep. so i i can sell anytime i want those two or let's say free is it uh but, is the only way you're doing three by getting the wild market or i can build uh, i can overbuild my my beer, beer sure, between kinderminster and worcester if i need to got it but Probably I want I want the the, the wild uh, the wild market. 
Yep. It's good for me because it's four points. So I will get Derby for sure for three points. And if I can get the, the, the wild market, it will be four points more. So seven points plus the cotton. Wait, wait, sorry, why is it seven points for the wild market? Because the two market, if you use the beer on the two market, the one close to Derby gives you three points. Oh, is it bonus? The one close to Colebrookdale gives you four points. Got it, got it, got it. So, those are good on the, in the rail era, if, especially for a cotton player. Just the extra points, you're saying? Yeah, the extra yeah. points. So red, ah, uh, oh, red build, um, oh, build the pottery and sell it right away. Ah. At three points and then the income and ten more points. Uh, it's it's a good play. Yep. Yep. And he just doesn't have to worry about anyone else taking it either. Yes. There's still, there are still just two spots, Belper and Coventry, but yeah, no, you probably is better not to wait. He already sometimes wait for something and he got screwed. <laughs> got so I can, I can really understand why he Sorry. wants to do everything <laughs> right now and not worry about what the other people will do. Well, pottery is pretty expensive, right? So he'd be going later in the turn order next. It's uh, yes, it's seventeen plus iron. Yeah, so you'd be nervous that like purple or yellow here would, you know, build a link, and take a loan, go before him, and then do his build turn. Build the, yes. Yeah, exactly. Be the pottery and thing. Yes. Um, and we are back to a world where there is just no coal anymore. It's, it's very expensive out there. <laughs> it's uh should be seven. Six yep. or seven. Oh, seven. Yeah, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Yeah. And now double railing, uh, even single railing is really, really expensive. Yeah, 12 for a rail. Yeah. 12 for a rail is a lot. So probably purple. not worth it, right? Like at a certain point, you just like need to build the coal so that you can. Yes, some someone will have to build the coal. Let's see. And Jared's purple. looking at his money, so it might be him. Because <laughs> it, yeah, I think. I don't hey, see he, he can. Oh, he can double rail. It's really exp. He has five, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixty. Okay, so two calls, so it's double railing. Yeah. Oh, he's got some well, hidden money up there, I see, underneath uh, underneath our, our counter yeah. hosts. He probably loaned the first, let me check. Yes, he loaned. Oh, and now yeah. rail is really expensive. He did a loan first to have the money, yeah. so now he can do the double rail. That's pretty expensive. Yeah, it's a, yes, it's a seven, seven, 14 plus 15, 29, just. Uh-huh. 29 is just alone. Yeah. And I was now it's more expensive. I was going to say that it sets up Josh for an overbuild, but really Josh only has level two. So he there's nothing for him to overbuild. Mm, yeah. And now, ooh, now there's no call anywhere. Right. So people can overbuild uh, other people call. Yeah, yeah. That's what, cause I'm, that's what I'm saying, because Josh is next. Yeah. and then But the thing is, his call is only level two, so he can't overbuild. Yeah, so he cannot overbuild, no. He can if he want. I don't know. You mean like develop and then build or develop and then overbuild, but that's it's yeah. It's only like stealing two points from another player. Yeah, right? so not... it's not no, it's not worth it. But he, if he wants, he can. It's a possibility. <laughs> just, but just, uh, it's not, just to make yeah, Randy not... have an even worse game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yes, he loaned the double rail. So Walsall, Wolverhampton, Wolverhampton, Colbrookdale. It's two, three. He has five points for now, but it will be more. Mm -hmm. Why do you think he's building that network? Is it just just points, or does he care about the fact that he's connecting over to Wolverhampton and more um, westward? Maybe he wants to build something. Maybe he wants to be an iron. Ah, sure. Maybe the iron needs to be connected to the coal, so... But building like that, let other people do it first. Give other people the possibility to 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 do that. 
Yeah, j and maybe you counted the card because you you know how ma how many cards for each location there are. Mm. So if you can check the cards and see, okay, there are three Colbrook there in the entire deck. I have one, and there's already one that someone discarded. So the chance that someone has it is uh, are really low. You can think about that. Probably not though, right? Like not a lot of people have done things over there. So someone probably has a Colbrook. I mean, I guess if he drew them and then discarded them. Yes, he could do, yeah. Then he knows that he's the only one, but you can count the cards and, and see the chances that someone else has the same exact card or can build there. Mm -hmm. In my experience, I will, I don't do that because even if the chances are slim, is always happen so <laughs> i'm not taking any risk <laughs> so. but yes you can count the cards and see and go for that double rail i think he wants to build on colbrook dale maybe coal maybe iron yeah all right we josh, josh josh building the yeah building the beer right now he wants to double rail for sure uh -huh, but he can't. He cannot leave. He cannot leave. Or he wants to quad rail. You can build a beer, take a loan. Okay, taking a loan. But now he has 30 plus 12. I don't think he has enough quad rail. Oh, can you pay eight no. for coal right now? Is that still an option? You pay eight, yes, yes. Got it. Coal never, yes. When the market is empty, you pay the maximum that is eight, but I you see. can still uh use coal from the market i see okay but then uh, double rail is 16 plus 15 31. it's a lot of money it's a uh, double rail oh i see what you say yeah, yeah it's yeah. 16 a two to call 16 right. plus 15 for just the the right right, right, right. The double rail action yes. is 31 so not even uh, one uh, one loan can save you. So it seems like the if he's going first here, it's like build coal, double rail. Can build the coal and double rail, yes. And he's the first player, so we'll see. Probably where he can build the coal. Does he have a connection? Like the coal in Dale, right? Cool. Yes, he can go to Colbrook Dale. Yeah. If he has Cobrookdale, so let's see. I guess that's the only one now. That is connected to his, uh, yes, just Cobrookdale. Yeah, there don't seem to be many coal spots left. I guess kind of uh, over there in the east. But right now, if you have a, a, a higher level coal, you can build. You can overbuild another player. So mm -hmm. for red. Red can overbuild anywhere because it's a level three and all the all the coal on the map are level two so he can build uh, wherever he wants mm -hmm. if he has the cards obviously well he scouted Jones. earlier so he, he oh yeah so, so he has he the has card if he wants to over if, if he I wants mean, I to use, i don't know how wild the card to overbuild <laughs> okay <laughs> it's not the best the best to use for a while the card, but sure. yes, if he wants, yes. He needs the money if he wants to take some points from people that he thinks is winning. I think if you can overbuild an iron, it's a little more exciting because they're worth more points, right, than the, the coal ones. Are. Yeah, the iron, yes, yes, the iron. If you can uh, put all the four irons out, or at least three irons out, uh, the level two, three, and four outs in the, in the canal era, you have a good amount of points. So we saw Josh doing that, uh, and it's in first place so it's almost like uh, three three cotton mm -hmm. so it's a good amount of point well i see josh has put in a 15 stack there so i think your your comment oh, it's about double, double it's, rail it's, it's is going. pretty likely here i don't know what we will do next let's see the over the first the double rail where he wants to go just places with points probably right he doesn't really care about yeah that's like uh, 
if he wants to risk, he can connect Colbrookdale to the market. Uh huh. Why is that a risk? Because then there will be a wild, uh, the wild market will be open for almost everyone to use. Gotcha. So it's not really. Like, I don't know if he wants. So much, yes, helping not... other players. Yes, it's two points. Three will be probably five points at the end. So average, but it gives it gives other people the possibility to to use the wild market. So I, w- I will probably not do that. Yeah, yeah. But other other spot probably Derby Belper if he wants to build something. But he's not connected to that. I oh, know it's not connected, so no. Does it make any sense yeah, to go know. north? To, is that leak up there? Leak. There's. He can go. Stock on Trent leak if he wants to. No, he already can. It depends on what card he has. Uh-huh. But there is not uh, now. There are less valuable spot for rail. Almost all. All the good ones are taken, so oh, Coven- we will Coventry need to start. Birmingham, uh... Right, Coventry Birmingham uh? is a nice one. No, oh yes, now it's connected. See, I didn't see the. the yes, purple, can do Coventry Birmingham because it's connected. Yeah. Walsall Birmingham, I didn't see the link. Yes, now he can do that because it's connected to coal. And then he can do Birmingham, and connect it actually over to your uh, cotton, right? Just for the points. Yes. Oh, I did. Okay, this this is the one. Okay, he switched the action. He cannot do Bell per Derby because he doesn't have the 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 network there. Yeah. But then he use as a second action, use the Bell per card to build the pottery. Ah. So just reverse and and Got pottery it. needs iron, so it doesn't need to be connected to anything. Yep. So he does. So it yeah, a lot of people say, "Oh my God, he did a." An illegal move, uh, Luca should have won. No, he just switched. We, we, he, he told me I, I almost had an art attack, he said, seeing that because I saw that it was illegal and no one told me anything. But then I checked and I had the bell per card. Yeah. So it was just just reversing, doing the bell per card with the pottery for, for the pottery first and then doing the double link and that will be fine. So. Yep, yep, got it. Not him. Um, so now the Belper with with the pottery with the pottery card uh, with the pottery build the Belper Derby link is valuable. Yeah, pottery takes coal or or iron. To build. Iron, iron, iron. Okay. okay. Oh, so that's so... that's why is is uh, is good because you can build it everywhere and then starting yeah. to link from there. Right. So he can. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So then he builds. So him the building the pottery and Belper. Oh, and he doesn't have to worry about getting it to the generic market because he still has a beer left. That's safe. Yes. That's part of the reason why that Canuck beer uh, thing is so important. Yes, he needs just... It, it's gambling because there are three players after him, so someone can build something and use his beer. Oh, wait, people can use his beer? Yes, because the beer is connected. Ah. The problem with that beer in, uh, beside the Canuck is you have to be connected in order to build it. So if you want to be sure to be the only one to use it, it should then it's be like definitely going to get one of the last uh, action that you do. Yeah. Oh. This was so, something I actually realized I also wanted to ask about. I'm not sure if this the sense at the table at this stage is still you know josh is kind of the threat but one thing i was wondering about is if you feel like someone's winning in this game is it possible to attack people i mean how do you uh, overbuilding requires such a specific situation that it's hard to kind of set up so how do you how do you make someone else lose (laughs) you you can't you just try to get the points uh, before them. Yeah. So, for example, not leave, letting Josh going quadrail, taking some spot, some rail spot, or for the cotton, taking the the spots that um, requires um, cotton. Mm-hmm. For example, Belper, you should put um, manufacturer good there. Mm-hmm. So I I have one less spot to build a cotton. But other than that, there's 
you can't really attack a player. Yeah. It's you just need to to slow him down. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, that's legit. It seems like it's uh, cotton. If there's only one player going cotton, there's so many spaces. Even even though they're like cotton and manufactured good or cotton and coal, that it's hard to stop a cotton player from building all their buildings. You need to remember that he needs uh, coal. So if you don't connect the the location to the, to the market, then you will That's have less trick. choice. Yeah. Um, and then and it then, looks like so, Randy went full infrastructure. So you overbuilt. Uh, yes, you overbuilt on Wolverhampton. Yep. I think you overbuilt Josh Cole. It was. Josh and then you cool. built Iron on Colebrookdale. Yep. So. So purple doing the double link there helped the red yeah be which the iron. frankly is oh right cuz yeah yeah because the iron If he wants if he wants there's still the chance that he wants just to build the coal so and it's good mm -hmm. Yeah or or he was just thinking it's worth points and people will build here Yeah yeah it's still worth points yes now there are yes less uh, valuable places for link almost everyone see almost everyone is connected so, and that's normal at the end almost every single rail will be built yeah. there will be probably a couple two or three spots left but yeah you should yeah it seems like as we're approaching kind of the last few rounds here the player that yeah there has... are no more there are no more cards so right. it should be around the five. five yep around the five yeah oh, there you go see <laughs> he built yeah it was it was uh, when i built the the level for cotton he said god damn it <laughs> because he yes he, he connected me let me connect to the to the call yep so I mean, and i it's... used the iron from uh from red Colebrookdale, so I, I spent a little less. less yeah. Still, good chunk. And then I think in order to save an action, I will sell everything and I use Josh beer, so I don't have to build my beer or wait for someone to, yes, to connect to the wild market. Mm -hmm. so I can save an action, and I'm selling all the, my three, three cotton. One. Oh yeah, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why wouldn't you? That seems great. So why does the save an action? Because using Josh beer, I don't have to build a beer by myself, and I don't have to wait for people to build a connection between Colbrookdale and the Wild Market, and then pray that someone who not using it. Yep, got it. So, and that's our. And the, those are three level four, so 36 points plus two, 39 points. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, cotton is, is right? really good, but it's really hard to, to it's really cash demanding. I mean, so it's been your I, whole focus for this epic, right? Yes, it's been yes. Getting money, building right, cotton mill, getting money, cotton building mill. cotton mill, getting money, building cotton mill, and now you get paid yes. out. What is what can a cotton player in this situation do for the rest of the game? Like, what's your what are your objectives at this point? And like after your... that, uh, I'm I'm done. So the only thing that I need to to think about is uh, building rail. Yeah. And I still have a level four and level five iron, if I can build. But I don't think there are any iron spot left. So no. Just building building rail. Yeah. And now, now, with the the free develop action from the market, I develop my level one call. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit too late, but it's okay. So yes, now I'm the only thing that I that I will do probably it's uh, rail, rail, rail. Yeah. And nothing else. If I had uh, the level three cotton instead of developing it i would have probably build it somewhere mm -hmm. and try to, to sell it but yes i i developed it instead of the calls so. yeah yeah now it did 
almost everything. The only one that can change something is Josh putting a level two manufacturer good somewhere and selling it. He also has to but figure out how to sell his pottery, right? How to yes. sell pottery, yes. He can uh, it can build a connection on his next turn he can build a connection between Colbrook Dale and the wild market and then sell. Sure. Those are two actions, so it's still it's still good. Yeah, it ultimately seems like nobody has anything with the exception okay. of, of Josh building or selling his pottery no one has anything big left that they need to accomplish you know that that it's it's make or break yes no the uh, yes some people complain and i can understand that that in, in the real era is a little bit boring because the the main thing that everyone does is just rail uh -huh. to get the maximum amount of points you can if you go and manufacture goods you can still try something and if you are going to cotton, you have to build your your three level for cotton. So, but if you're going beer, beer iron, then you are focusing mainly, like Josh did on on building rail. And he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has already eight links mm -hmm. out. While the next one that is should be purple, one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's already ahead. So it's, uh, yes, it's almost a race on picking up the best spot mm -hmm. for the rail. And maybe build, you should try to build the pottery and sell it because it's the only level one that you can still build in um, in the rail era and it's 10 points. So mm -hmm. you, you, I don't want to say you have to go for it, but you should try it for sure. Yeah. Um, Jared so building this it, iron here seems bold. Five irons are a lot. Unless he wants, uh, maybe he wants to develop the manufacturer good. So he will use two of the iron, and then the other three, I don't know. Maybe he's thinking Josh will build his manufacturer goods, or maybe some beer. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Five iron now. When there are just uh, three round left, two round left, seems like a big gambling. Yeah. But we'll see. And he's taking. Uh, no, it's just uh, income. I think you're doing income. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, just re reordered for the turn. So now I have to move out from the south because <laughs> my network is really limited. Yeah. <laughs> I need to, but I I will for I, I suppose I will for sure pick the the spot um, Kidderminster, Worcester, and my beer. That is two, three, four, five points. Oh sure. Yep. And then I will probably go on Birmingham. That, that one link counts as all three of them. those spots. Yeah, all three, yes. That's that's really valuable. And, and then I will go probably Worcester, Birmingham. Yep. Try to expand so to have more. At this stage, does it generally make more sense to single link, single link, or to be like lone double linking? I mean, does it make much of a difference between those two? You you need to have beer. Got it. Double so you link. just have to single link. So single right link. now, if you don't over, yes, there are no more spots. So if you don't overbuild, and now it's not a good time to overbuild because still, you overbuild, you use one of your beer, but you're leaving one of the uh, the other beer to someone else yep so right now will be beneficial more beneficial to go single link an action single link an action yep yeah that makes sense but yes purple needs to to he needs to develop at least once he needs to develop he has five iron there and it's there are a lot of a lot of iron to yeah, use. Yeah, it seems like a it seems like it, it seems like a build that like a build that was a 
it just seems ambitious, right? Like it's threatening. Developing yeah. here seems not because helpful. then you have to you have to develop. So <clears throat> I don't remember a level three iron should be seven points. That's okay, but then you have to use at least one develop action, mm -hmm. at least one. So you're getting no points for that. So it's yeah, it seems a little bit. So it's oh, it's developing call. Okay. Okay. So that's one action that doesn't give him any points. Developing coal, then you build the coal. Because coal requires iron, so you are taking out another iron. Yep, and it immediately flips, I guess. So oh, and it immediately... oh, yes, we're at a six, so yes, it will immediately flip for a good amount of points. So it's the last one, it's five. Oh, I don't remember if it's 4 or 5, but it will be 10, 18, around 20 money. So. Yeah, he seems to not Good need, money. Jared I don't think needs money that much at this stage. He's he's no, he has 10, 20, to, uh, at least 35 money, yeah. so yes, he doesn't really need money. But there's nothing else he can do. Like Suppose with that amount of money, can if he wants, he can build a level three manufacturer goods, and then develop again and go for a five level five manufacturer good. Because level three is uh, doesn't require beer, so it's just a free sell. And he has uh, enough money to to pay for level three manufacturer goods, even if it costs a lot. And there's two manufactured goods, beers out there available in the public markets. Yes. So it seems that he's building the level three. Yep. Yes, he's building level three. For a whipping, so six, six, twelve, twenty-four points. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, twenty-four money. Money. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Oh, stuck on trend. Okay. Why is that interesting? Oh, interesting. It's good because level three is a good uh, point of denial because it doesn't require beer and it doesn't have any link point. Oh. It is taking out two points from Josh. Yes, 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 yes. So level three is good if you want, you know. Josh, now he has to link, but let's say someone has four links on Birmingham. You put it there and you're taking out four points from four link points from him. So manufacturer goods are, are good uh, tactically. Mm -hmm. Level three, level four, the other, because you're checking where people are and then you're putting someone there. So you're denying some points. And you don't really care because it doesn't require beer, so you can sell it anytime. Yep. Yep, that makes. So that sense. was a that was a was a good play. Yeah, you were not kidding about manufactured goods being weird. <laughs> oh no! Yes, I, I for sure will. Oh, okay, I obviously I'm building. Yeah, I think you took a loan as your first yeah. action because you were broke. As always. <laughs> I'm only when I when I go cut and I'm I'm always broke. Sure. I'm not I'm not leaving the minus two plus two range of income. Yeah. But it's not it's not a big deal because you're getting tons of points and, and like I said, the, the income is the first tiebreaker. Or like someone else says, it's the second tiebreaker. The first tiebreaker is victory points. So <laughs> if you get more victory points, you don't. I see a lot of people, especially during the first uh, the first game that they they play in Brass Birmingham, they are focusing excessively on income. They want to go 15, 20 income. Yeah. So they build call, 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 call. But yes, income it's good, it gives you some money, but I think uh, one action alone, 30 money, and you're good to go. Yep, you don't yep. have to wait, to wait. Yes, you have to pay, you, you have to lose three income, but 
if you want to be fast, if you want to do something before anyone else, you can't just wait to have enough money to pay. Right. Thanks for your income. So and, and a little bit of income, income is okay, because if you're broke and you have to pay, then it's bad. Yeah. But my suggestion would be don't be too obsessed with income. Yeah. Well, when you rush the income too, then when you, if you want to go take a loan, you're penalized more for it, right? Like it's yes, because yes, the steps from one income to the other are bigger, going up. So yeah, it's yes, it's a, a little bit of income is always good because maybe you're short, one too short, and then the income will help you mm -hmm. paying for that. But going too much for income, it's my opinion it's detrimental to your game mm -hmm. so it looks like randy like... ate a coal somehow i don't again yeah it, uh, what did ever he... build a coal on corbrookdale or is build a coal on corbrookdale well he spent I think a coal first every... somehow probably with a little rail maybe Two, three, four. oh yeah he connected to the the, the external market um and then he yeah. overbuilt uh jared's building yeah. there uh, that's bad yeah. now he'll, uh, yes because Josh doesn't need to, to use an action to connect to the world market he's already connected so he can right now he can so sell yep. and do something else but I can understand the red because it's that it's three five points yep. for that link so it's, it's still good for him and he needs being uh, behind everyone he needs to try to maximize his points yeah. in the way he can Yeah, if you if you know you're behind, what's the what's the like gambling that you can do to catch up? What's the you know what's, what's the, the one wild thing that play? you should do if you if you can? It's uh, going last one turn, check how much uh, anyone else spend, and go loan beer. Be the if you can be the first and then quadrail. Uh huh. That's one thing that you can do. But it's depending on the level of beer that you are building, it's difficult to be behind everyone. Yeah. Something. But if you can pull it in a quadrail, it's almost a game winner. It's but a lot just, of fun for just to action. This is good for anybody, need, right? I mean, it doesn't matter if you're yeah. in first or last oh, yes. doing that kind of yes, thing. Yes, no, it doesn't matter. Yes, if you can, especially if you can put them close to the beer triangle. Yeah. A quadrille in the in the in the beer triangle who talks at the derby stone there it's a, it's almost a guarantee win uh -huh. it's a four so for two action you get four link it's uh, an average of six points per link so 24 points with two action more or less let's say 20 to 24 points mm -hmm. it's a lot So Josh, what Josh did? He took a pretty, oh, he did loan, he did. loan, and uh, and it sold the pottery. Yep. So the pottery, it's and I guess it's right. Doesn't have want, much left. He doesn't want to wait. Yes, yeah. and yeah. then he doesn't want to wait for someone else to use the the wild market. So it was it was a really good gift for from Red for to Josh. I mean, otherwise he just builds the rail, right? Like it's not. Yes, but it will be in another another action to do. Instead of taking a loan and have more money for the next turn to build uh, some a rail somewhere else, you would have been forced to build the rail there and then sell. Yeah. But I mean, ultimately, his, his actions are going to be building. Or it's the same as, as yours. Yes, He's yes. But first, yeah. he will not, probably will not have been first. Mm. Or someone else would have been using or building rail where he wants to do. It's always good when some when I play cotton, I always try to make people put the link out for me so I don't have to use the action. Mm -hmm. Because it's still one action, one action that you gain to do something else. So yes, he got red got five points, but if the next your next 
your next action that you didn't do you weren't forced to do can give you more than five points mm -hmm. especially if it's a selling action for 10 points for the pottery for example and now i think we are on the seventh turn uh, yes so i think right now everyone will just build the rail <laughs> exciting yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's now it's yes the last two turns there's almost nothing else more variable than build rail and unfortunately it went before me so i pick the two rail that you were gonna build yeah, were the most we were, the, before, yeah. were the most valuable and now i'm completely blocked i can oh, just so go kidderminster yeah, yeah. dudley it's Nasty. the only thing that I can do. So yes, that that was. So did he do that? That was bad. It's the most points for him, or did he do it because he's trying to block you here? Like, is this it's incidental, uh, or is this like three, more... four, two, four? No, it's four points. There's. I don't think there are five points right now. Probably two, three, five. Uh, no need on uh, commentary. It's four points. Uh, yeah, I guess they're just no need and it's four points everything is four points i think he wanted to to block me well if it's all four points and blocking you is yeah they're all four points so he tried right, yes he tried to 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 limit my action totally because i'm right there second play and i'm playing cotton yeah so. but he didn't make himself lose a point or two to make you no. lose a bunch you know like he just he just he can he can't think about maybe someone building birmingham Mm -hmm. so it will be more points but <laughs> you built a call <laughs> I mean, yes I built a call I don't know why I built a call you probably just don't have much else to do right I had enough I had enough money to build a, I should have built a rail plus rail rail from uh, Kinderminster to Dudley Dudley to Birmingham mm. to open Yes. I don't know why I built the core. Oh no, yes. I was uh, a minus two. Ah, I had sure. to, ah, to sure. offset my loan first. Then I should build the rail, probably. Okay, yeah. Oh, good job, me. Got it. Yes, no, I was a minus. Yes, yes, I took a loan the last, so I was a minus two again. So I had to, to offset the loan. Well, offsetting the loan. Do you, does that matter at the end of the game for anything except were you just paying two dollars for it paying two dollars at the end now the call is the call was really expensive before me putting another call mine there true, true. so two two money every turn can be the difference between me being able to build a rail or me being able not to build a rail sure. and you might as well get the two or two points from the call yes yes so no it was yes i didn't uh, I didn't remember that I again <laughs> another loan to pay for. <laughs> I think I took a six loan in this game. It was not the the worst that I the worst amount of loan that I took, but yeah, probably six loan. Yeah, so I mean it's funny when you're talking about thirty two actions and you're trying to score five points per action, and if right if you take six loans, essentially across twenty five or twenty six actions. You're trying to score the same number of points <laughs> but yes but cotton if you can build the three level three on the canal era the three level four on the rail era you can sell everything just that so three plus three six plus two sell eight eight action is a hundred point yeah it's just alone just so that. <laughs> it's it's yes it's just uh, it's just unbelievable it's yeah d d d d the amount of points with just six building, it's, yeah. It seems really hard to build three level threes in the canal era, though. You need some help. You need really to count your action. Remember that in this game, I built two level two, um, two level three cotton, but two level two beer. So I was at, the, at one point more than building three level three cotton hmm. that was still right on on target on target yes 
But yes, you need to count your action really good, your first 15 action in the Canal Era. And you need a little help for, for a other okay. player. So going through, mostly people are just building kind of single rails now, it looks mm. like. Going yeah, no, now now it's just single rail, yeah. Um, thinking... Yeah, the purple, I, I don't know how I can uh, take out these two iron <laughs> without developing again. Yeah. That might, might be what he ends up doing, right? Yeah, as he can or... build another coal. That's one iron, then the second iron. He can build a coal and the level four manufacturer good. Uh huh. And then it would be two iron, and then it would mean, be there's, some. There's um... beer for the manufactured good out there, right? Like seems reasonable. Oh yes, no one is using it, so yes, he can. He can do that, and he needs only one because the level three that he already put, it doesn't require beer. So. So couldn't he? Couldn't he? It seems like what he'd want to do would be build manufactured good and then sell now just so no one gets cheeky and then next turn he can just build the coal or something like that right i can just build coal and manifest he's oh he's the last i don't know i can check how much money everyone spent and play to be the first the next turn mm -hmm. well let's see so he's building the level four, okay. Yeah, better than developing. Just build so that you get some point. Yeah. Uh, where? Oh, I remember. One, two. Yeah, I didn't know where to build. It wasn't sure about Birmingham or Wolverhampton. So we, we count the points together. Oh, Wolverhampton, well, yeah, because Wolverhampton gives him two link points, but gives Red two link points. That seems, yeah, On seems Birmingham, right. it gives him one point, but then two points to yellow and one point to red. So the best spot will be Wolverhampton for yeah. him. We were, we were debating a little bit. And we so, were joking that Josh was winning, so better not to give him more points. Sure. Is that even a joke? <laughs> no, it's not a joke. I, I was, I was starting to count that I, I knew that it was. Uh, yeah, because I guess there aren't any secret was, points. Uh, had, so you could sit there counting the. Rails you you can count them. Yes, it it will take a while, but you can count everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I knew that it was uh, it was ahead of me. Um, see um, when uh so so thinking back on this rail era what are kind of the like the key hallmark plays or maybe surprises that you don't necessarily i'm trying to get a sense of like how much this like follows the normal flow of a game versus things that were surprising i know one of the big moments was kind of when josh essentially was able to quad rail by having a slow end of round and then set up have the money to quad rail that was obviously a big big deal for him um connecting and then also getting the canock beer that seemed like kind of one of the key moments what else was important in this uh too, too much beer in the first uh, in the first few turns you don't want to pit the beer yes too much beer uh josh put one but then use one but then purple put uh, a beer on Stafford, leaving both beers there without using not even one. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do that because people will for sure use it. Mm -hmm. So that's something you want to avoid. You can't, uh, if, if you can't quad rail, you can't avoid just using one of your beer. So you need to check uh, who is after me. They can quad double rail, they cannot. If they double rail, how many points they get. But just putting a beer there and leaving both beer for someone else is just not good. It's asking for trouble. Yes, they're asking for a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it was it was in the norm. I probably as red, I will not connect to the wild market. I will probably try to build something. 
and then connect a cell or for someone else to build and sell mm -hmm. instead of giving it was Josh the, the only one who would have benefited to, to that so I would not help him uh, with a free action but but, red, have but red was already behind so it was five points that it yeah. was probably the most amount of points on, on that particular moment so it, it didn't he didn't know if someone would have built somewhere else for more points so mm -hmm. it's understandable probably if we don't have more points it was in the range and our range probably wouldn't have put a link there it would have chose probably a four points instead of five points forcing josh to spend an action sure but other than that no everyone everything else was fairly in the norm mm -hmm. yeah and it's one of the things that's just so surprising to me is that like in terms of building and selling you know that you as the the cotton player were really the only one that was doing it it's like randy did one pottery josh did one pottery yeah, yeah. and jared is doing a couple manufactured goods right now but really there's just not, not a lot of selling happening <laughs> if you yes if you can a, a double rail action is almost always better than building and selling yeah first is one action just one action right it gives you a point so and you're doing two rails instead of one so but you need the beer to use so that's why you don't want to overflow the board with beer in the first few turns where everything is is empty and everyone can build a double rail freely do you think the beer should be worth maybe a smidge fewer points or is it good that it's that everybody wants to do it looking at the 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 the, the amount of um, cost points it's except for manufactured goods that are their thing uh, they're weird they're just weird i can't say anything else than <laughs> they're weird if you look at the cost uh, and the points and um, the link points uh, all other buildings are, I think, are balanced. Mm. The beer is really valuable because every single level of beer requires just iron. So you can build anywhere without worrying about linking, about yep. network. And every single level of beer is two link points. So it's really valuable in the rail era to build close to a beer point. Mm -hmm. But that's why everyone wants to build the beer. And that's why you should be you should not overflow the map uh, with beer you should need thinking carefully when to build the beer when it's right time to build the beer mm -hmm. or that's another possibility overflow the map with beer but in the canal era mm -hmm. that it's only one beer in the canal era every single brewery gives you just one beer is in the rail era that they flip they switch and then one brewery gives you two beer so if you want you can overflow in the canal era with beer knowing that you can use it or you can use it to sell and there will be less beer spot for someone to double rail mm. if you're really if you're really fearing that someone can double rail more than you then you just go and you block every not every single spot is almost impossible but you block a lot of spots so they there will be less chance for them to do beer double rail or lone beer and then quad rail. Mm -hmm. Let me just see a, a rush of rails coming out here at the end here. Two and yes, and points. see I I was blo completely blocked on the so south. Yeah, the, the black country. Because purple put a Birmingham Dudley. Yeah. So the only thing that I was able to do was Derby. Uh, build per leak and leak stock on trend for four points to rail for points is not good <laughs> not at all but yes i was completely blocked and that's yeah 
Um, well, since they're just, we're just kind of, I don't think any, I mean, it's just going to be some rails here. I think since we're rounding. The yeah, corner, just rail. Yeah, it's just rail. Um, do you have the scores written down for what the, the end scores yes. have gone yes. here? I think we can just move towards wrapping up here since it's just kind of dropping mm -hmm. some rails along the way. So do you want to, do you want to tell us what the end scores end up being? Yeah. So Josh obviously won with the 151 just uh, on the average line yes. <laughs> it was but he has uh i think he has 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 he has 12 link yeah and the game that's that's a lot so the second one uh, probably purple one two three four five one two three four five six seven yes purple with seven is a is the next one the second one so red it's one two it's three six, four five six seven as well so but he hasn't built yet so he'll probably uh, actually yeah, so yeah probably yes but yes four or five links more on the map is a lot of points if yeah. you can get uh, if you can get the the the, the good the spot yeah so yeah josh uh, 151 me 134 138 Purple 127 and red 125. So red at the end, catch up a little bit. Yeah, that's actually, that's it's heartening to hear that it's actually that close. Although yeah, it just yes, it's just between Josh and everyone else. Josh and me is be 13 points. Yeah. And <laughs> if I didn't develop the level three cotton. Level three cotton is nine points plus one link. <laughs> so with just one cotton and one link, I would have got ten points. Okay. So I would have been just three points behind. Yep. Then it would have been obviously another game, but yeah. That's funny. Um Yeah, no, that's fun. Yeah, I I, I learned something <laughs> that day, so Yeah, so so you're saying 150 is a pretty average ending score? Between that... 150 and 160, yes. Okay. And so it's a pretty it average, yes. Normal that like second and third place players are like 130s, 120s? Depending, it's uh, probably no. It should be one should be a 150, 160, the other 140, 150. If they they played well enough. So, so this... someone going yes this is this is a good uh, because it, it's not so the, the the points are not so high 13 points is not so much it's still a good amount of points but yeah. then i have a 138 uh, this the third one is 127 so 10 points yeah 10 points is is good enough you can if you can double rail and someone else cannot uh, then it's you that's should have difference. 10 points yeah seven ten points more than them so that it's we were good enough it was a it was a very good game yeah i guess the question i'm curious about is like is this a like, tiny bit lower than an average score because the players are boxing in each other's way like that's from great western trail that's we, what happens a lot. yes we did box uh, each other Especially red with the two with the two beer not flipped in the canal era that that was it depresses the scores. It was a big blow for him. Yeah, it wasn't being in total 125, just 10 points more, 130, 135, so three points uh, below me. Just with that. Yeah. No beer, no beer at the start of the rail era to double rail for mm -hmm. someone. So it wouldn't be in another another game. But we yes, we box a lot each other. And, and then too much beer at the start so there will be a lot of double rail so people just get got blocked yep it should be it should go much slower at the start maybe a couple of single rail or someone who put a beer then and double rail and the next person or someone else double rail as well hmm. but we put uh, two beers in the first two turns if i remember correctly mm -hmm. yeah so no that's a lot yeah so four beers it's yeah it's uh in lancaster which doesn't have beers doesn't have beer yes it's it's a lot more of a like gold rush right because it's just like yeah it's expensive you know the double rails and the coals but i remember that like 
one of the kind of premier strategies is that people would just take a bunch of loans at the end of the canal era and then just doubling, 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 doubling. The, you know, you don't have the same thing where every building's worth one rather than like buildings being worth two or oh, anything awesome. like that, um, which is why that was so surprising to me when you told me. Uh, <laughs> but but that there's like a rush of that network at the beginning. There's a rush here too, but, cool. uh, but the rush a is... There's a limit because you need a beer. Yeah, exactly. Rush. So you you want to, obviously, you want to build a beer to be able to double rail, mm -hmm. but you want to be sure that someone else that is not too close to you can use the your second beer that you're leaving. So it's a rush, yes, but it's more slowish. Yeah. Or calculated. Yep. It's not that you can. Let's see. We saw that probably without a quad rail, Josh would have been so probably would have won still, but not by 13 points, probably mm -hmm. less. And if someone boxed him on Canuck without him being able to put a, a beer there, maybe yep. someone else would have won. <laughs> but, but it's no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good because I lost this one and I got uh, this one in the semi-finals yeah, so. so good yeah very, oh very that was yeah so I, I i <laughs> i can I still can't believe about that but yes i yeah that's great but, but you... yeah if you want to play if you want to play cotton you should develop level one call totally in order to be able to <clears throat> to <laughs> rail or to use your call for for your cotton yeah exactly well you didn't get pick up the ring this time around but as you said it was worth it for the semi-final are you yeah. playing brass birmingham again this year yes yes right on. i need i need the ring you need the ring that's what it's there for <laughs> need the ring, so yeah i'll be yep. curious to see do you know how many how big this tournament was last year <sighs> so I remember that every table was a four-player table, starting from the beginning. So and we did two games and then the final. So 64. Probably, yes. Yeah, something like that. Great. I think, yeah. Yeah, it's very similar to Great Western Trail size, actually. Yeah, I'll be curious to yeah. see what it looks like this year when it's... Oh, this bigger. year, I think it will be much, much harder because... <clears throat> In the WSBG news, there was only a hundred ticket left from the ticket from the four days, uh -huh. the big one ticket. Right now, there's only a hundred or less than a hundred, so there are, there will be more people. Yeah. I'm I'm glad there will be more people because I love this this to, WSBG to be to be, yeah. be good, and I want to to compete with uh, a lot of players, but. On the other hand, it will be harder to get a ring yeah. because there will be more players. So for sure, but it will be it will be good. I think it will be it will be fun again. Yeah, and, I'm looking yeah. forward to it. And also, hey, yeah. viewers, if you are interested, by the way, in grabbing one of those hundred tickets, um, you can use uh, my YouTube channel's name, Phoenix, and get forty dollars off of getting a ticket. So give it a shot if you're interested. This is this is the year. Time is running out. It sounds like. Yes, and if you win, and if you go in the final, you get fifty percent off for the next one. There you go. That was good. That's it. that's the reason I can afford to come back. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Yes, that, yes, I did. It's the same for me. Yeah. Well, you also ended up going to the final. Because, yeah, no, I'm going to the final. I get <laughs> a thousand. Yes. Yeah. Uh, right on. If I go well, to a final again, I need to go to get better. You know. Exactly. No exactly. more third for the player. At least third. You know. <laughs> I need to improve. Exactly. Um, cool. Well, Luca, thank you so much. This was really insightful for me. I'm like now I'm raring to like go learn and be better at Brass Birmingham myself. So I really appreciate all the insights you shared with us. It's today. a very good thing. <laughs> I'm a little bit biased, probably, no, but I really like. Uh, <laughs> I really like it. Yes, it's it's an heavy game, but I I love heavy game. It's yeah, it's one of my things. I yeah, need I to yeah. I need to learn a better Great Western Trail because I got you, man. <laughs> next year, yeah, next year, next year, not this year, but next year, I want to try to compete uh, all the four days in all the four heavy, heavy games. games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm doing this year. Just, yes, it will be. At, <laughs> 
we'll see. We'll see. The brain, the brain will not be the same after that, but <laughs> we will, we will try to do our best. For sure. Cool. So, well, thank you, Lucas, so much. I'm gonna go ahead. Thank and you for uh, having me. Wrap this I up. hope that yes, I hope that people looking at this will learn something. Yeah. Definitely. They will get better on brass. So. Yeah, for sure. All right. Right on. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>